Hey, we're back, Chubbies. Here we are. And we have an OG. OG. Yeah, we brought one of the one of the main men back. It's always fun. I mean, my, how long has it been? Have you, did you even were, did you ever use that studio? Uh, yeah, this is time three, I believe. I know, but yeah, yeah but were you two over there and one over and or? No, I think I was in the back last time. Was you uh, really? I think so. Yeah, right, yeah. Pull up Michael up a little bit closer to you. You old soft spoken thing, you. My yeah. goodness. He, in his older age, he's gotten very soft spoken. Well, yeah. Sarah yeah. keeps him <laughs> at a certain tone. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> she's she's going trained. Yeah. That's well, a fact. Yeah. And yeah, we appreciate the bottle of uh, Waltham. Oh, man. That's pretty smooth stuff. I'll tell you what, man. That is smooth. that is really good. It Single barrel? I've had trouble finding it lately, man. Well, you and, went uh, to a coffee just to get this, didn't you? Or you was up there. And I stuff. was up there, yeah. yeah. But they have a they have a pretty, it's a, pretty I, robust yeah. selection. Where's their liquor store? Hooch's? It's right... Uh, uh, it's right off the first exit. What is it? Yeah, Main just Street exit. Tim Hortons, yeah. Yeah, right past oh, Tim Hortons okay. on, on the left. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I know where it is. Yeah. 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 I've never been in there. It's called it's uh, is it Hooch's or something? Yeah. I it, yeah, it looks like Houch, but I was well, called yeah, yeah, I don't I, know what, I, well, what the name I, of it is. I, I think that's funny, and I won't mention any names, but uh, <laughs> I was with the, the baseball group somewhere. They're like, "Hey man, uh, you ever been to uh, Houch's? They're chill coffee, <laughs> Houch's." And I'm like, "Wait." What What's like what, uh, like a restaurant or what? <laughs> Bar? No, the the liquor store, Houch's. And oh. I, so I've kind of liked to just call it that yeah. ever since. That's how I'd go yeah. with it. House. Just go with it. Now, you said Reynolds got you into that, Waltham. He, he, yeah, he recommended yeah, it years yeah, ago. Yep, yeah, years yeah. ago. That was back, one of the first ones I bought into, man. Mm-hmm. Back in the uh, younger days, 20 yeah. years ago, probably. Uh, mm, probably more like 10, long. probably. Yeah. 10. I'll say you've been into bourbon for a while. <laughs> I think you, you and 10, I kind of came into it about the same time, yeah. man. Yeah. Like, yeah, you guys were running together back then. Probably well, I mean, bit. we were just talking about whiskey here and there. Okay. You know? Yeah, uh, we might we might have, we might have had Mike Morgan with us or something. Got somewhere. a call. He's from been him today. to bring us together. What did he want? Well, he's coming back for the reunion. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah for yeah. Bo Kearns' uh, Larry Blackstone reunion. Yeah, yeah. He, uh, I knew he was going to be in town. Didn't know anything about this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Morgan is going to actually be the Jackson. Speaker. Keynote speaker. Yeah, there's going to be a speaker from Jackson and a speaker from Wellston. Who's the one from Wilson? Uh, Naylon Arthur. That'd be a good one. I don't. I don't know Naylon very good dude. well, but good he seems dude. seems like a great dude. Yep, mm-hmm. good yeah. dude. I, he was my age. Okay. Yep. He played against yeah. us. He would probably. He would have had Blackstone's first year over there, probably. So, uh, help me a little bit with that. Was Blackstone at Wellston the whole time you played? No. No. I don't believe so. I was thinking maybe he was. He might not have been there your senior year, but wasn't he there? I thought when he you wasn't younger? there my sophomore year. Maybe, and he might now, have been who, there your senior year. But, he was there my junior and senior. Yeah, yeah. But I don't think he was there my sophomore year. Okay, uh, and he, then he might have went what two years after that. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I can't remember. He probably had Lance and him boys in there. I, I think he did. They're younger than me. Yeah. So what do you have? Like a four year, five year. Like a four or five year run, but yeah. I I don't know. <laughs> the longest run in Wellston history. <laughs> yeah, God, they haven't had a guy for more than a year after that. Uh, who was there for him? I'm trying to think. Uh, uh, was that the Lucas fellas, or were they mm-hmm. after? Was after? Uh, was that Hinton? Uh, after Mantel? After? Gee whiz, man! You're talking right after Blankenship. <sighs> Who would that have been? Well, they went through a few. They had that, yeah. they had a gentleman by the name of Dave Barr. And they came out looking like Michigan. That was right after Paul, but I don't know that he lasted. I think he went over. Well, but see, Paul, Paul. Uh, so, so that year there would have been uh, my freshman year, probably, because Paul left Wellston, yep, came yep, here yep, my freshman yep, year. Yep. So that that Barr guy would have been there if he would have been there year. my sophomore year or whoever was after him. He, he did. Yeah, he was. He only made it one year. Okay. And then I think they had another one year guy. And then Blackstone, and I'm pretty sure because of or 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 did Blackstone follow that gentleman? Now he might, but see, I don't think like don't Joey think Boggs did. and Cusick and those guys. I don't think we played Blackstone that year. No, no, we didn't. Um, I remember it because you know there was talk of guys going to play because since he'd yeah. been at Jackson, yeah, yeah. And uh, whenever we had that team meeting at yeah. time, I, I'm pretty sure that was like the class of '98. Okay, yeah. I mean, I remember all that stuff, but I can't remember like. I don't remember the specifics. Remember whenever they came down, I, was t- I told oh, yeah, I told yeah. Borg about that today. I yeah. said, hey, I said, 
not my guy. I said, yeah, 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 yeah. I said, you know, sorry. I said, you know, I'm yeah, sure he's great, but yeah. I said, you know, all I know him from is the competition. Right. You know, right. right. It, yeah, yeah. And it, it really wasn't friendly back then. No, no. It wasn't. <laughs> where are they, where are they doing this? Uh, Scotty's on first. Yep. Um, it should be a pretty neat event. Yeah. It'd be man. cool. It'd yeah. be cool. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I th- I think it'll be fun. I-, I liked the idea of bringing the Wellston guys into Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. You know, because he coached at both places. He coached at Wellston twice. He was also there back, back in the, in the, the 70s yeah. and stuff, I think. There's a great picture that I, I posted on Facebook one time. Uh, Lance loved it. But, like, it was the assistant coaches when Blackstone was an assistant up at uh, Wellston in, like, the 70s. I think mm-hmm. they were assistant for Jody Michael. And all of them are sitting there on a knee like the coaching picture with huge chews in their mouth. <laughs> <laughs> ah. And like, it's obviously the picture that like went in the program. Oh, it's sure. like yeah. a Steve West and him. And, uh, I, I, I'll have to pull it up. I'll send it to you, but man, it is absolute classic. So that was the, that was before the Salem days then, right? Didn't he? Go uh, to yeah. Salem oh yeah, that? man, man. He's been, God, he's been everywhere, man. I didn't realize he was in. Well, he, before. he, uh, Morgan was telling me that Butch set it or was helping Bo set up because mm-hmm. I guess Blackstone had told Butch like, "Hey, I'm tired of coming down for funerals." Yes, yeah, Which, that's 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 where it came hey, from. Man, yeah, and yeah. and you know how you know how that. Oh, feels. absolutely. And I mean, you you imagine you get to his age mm-hmm. and coached as long as he did. Think mm-hmm. of how many of those Bunches. he's gone to yeah. in different towns. That absolutely, he's coached. Yeah. and yeah. you know he was just making that comment, and Butch came up to. Uh, he he started talking to a few of us and was like, "Man, I think it'd be nice to maybe have." a reunion for him where he's not coming down here for, you know, some funeral. Yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah. yeah. you know, I know it, 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 and I don't want to talk out of turn. It's his business, but I, I, I know that it hit him hard when coach Finnick died. I mean, they were close. Mm-hmm. Was they? Oh yeah. I didn't know. I just knew him as a teacher. Yeah. Yeah. He, he great guy. Yeah. And, I was and, and he, uh, him and him and coach were, were close. And, okay. uh, you know, it was... Uh, He's lost, you know, he had Todd back, do we? Had, oh, uh, yeah. Hey, guys, let's pay some bills here. Tonight's show is brought to you by the Kelly Wiley Group of Keller Williams Excel Realty. I tell you, we, we all know Kelly, and we all know the group down at Kelly Wiley Realty, and I'm telling you, you won't find a better class of people to deal with. They A verifiable fact, something that I found very interesting, they are the number one real estate agency in Southern Ohio, and it doesn't shock me. I tell you, there's 180 different items that a home buyer and a home seller must do whenever you buy or sell a house. The Kelly Wiley team is great at all of them. They will help you out from start to finish. They have some of the most up-to-date processes and systems that you can possibly dream of. You're going to love the whole entire experience. So if I were you, I would give those guys a call at 740-577-3795. That's 740-577-3795. Or you can also look at all of their inventory at kellywileygroup.com. Was he here your whole time? Who? Yeah, Larry, Larry Blackstone came my freshman year. Who was before that, Hutch? Hutch, yep. So your freshman year, so that would have been the class of 88? That would have been, yes. Uh, that would have been like John Perry, Butch Cooper. Okay. J.J. Brown. Uh, okay. That, that bunch, yep. Hey, yeah, he's lost a ton. He's lost his, yeah, he's lost as many of them as anybody. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, if you're in it that long, man, mm-hmm. I mean, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, yep. uh, you know heck he's got guys that you know i was probably considered like mid-career or later and i mean hell i'm 50 yeah so yeah. i mean you know <laughs> yeah, yeah. and, and you mean, know i say not my guy but don't get me wrong i still respect everything oh, he did oh, here. Oh, oh man uh you know it just i always played against him i didn't yeah. you know he's he's one of he's one of my favorite intricate people. intricate piece of the jack you know so, and, that, and that what do you what's your guys thoughts on this do you think um do you think that that like, okay? Let's take those two programs, okay? Mm-hmm. Do you think that that that's everybody says? Well, he started to wait, and he did. Yeah. Okay. But I don't think you can say that like the successes of, of five years after he left were were because of huh. that. I mean, we would have eventually adapted weights, but look at a lot of program. Well, that was a chance right there that that our program kind of started separating itself. Well, we could. Hey, dude, listen. At that time, and Brad, you'll remember, um, when he came here, our football program was probably at one of its lowest uh, points. Probably. I mean, we 
you know, Jackson has not had very many like, you know, one and nine, two and eight mm. type seasons, but that's what we were having. And uh, I don't think we ever did. Uh, I mean, even back in the up to the early sixties, yeah, you were you were powerhouse. Oh yeah, I mean, dude, it was yeah. We were we were at a pivotal moment, in my opinion, mm-hmm. and it did not turn around immediately. I mean, it took from several years of work from eighty two to ninety mm-hmm. was probably the worst section of football in the history of Jackson. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, probably about eighty five or eighty four. I thought right after that eighty one championship team. No, they they were still pretty, pretty decent. Was they? Okay. Yeah. I thought it was right um, after them. They were still pretty decent, and then my my father re- left, uh-huh. took the assistant uh, principal's job, and and Dennis came in, and I'm not saying it was Dennis Hutchison. I'm not saying that by any. Damn means. it, Hutch. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> I mean, he's a Jackson guy I himself, love that and guy. I'll tell you what, dude. Hutch. He he was an assistant coach my senior year. Uh-huh. Him and Finnick came on as assistant coaches my senior year. And I'm going to tell you something, man, that made a big difference. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, but, but what Blackstone did, it was more than just the weights. I mean, right. We, we definitely started lifting hard and we had to, cause we were physically outmatched and, you know, you had guys playing young. I mean, oh, yeah, you said I was playing, I had Morgan. no business, Morgan, Mapes, mm-hmm. a lot of us were playing and whew, I mean, we were getting mauled. Yeah, I mean, I think I I think I was starting at center even my sophomore year. I think I weighed 155, 165 <laughs> pounds, dude. That's hey, that's just small, dude. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, mean, you know, man, that's <laughs> that's, that's just not small. well. I mean, man, hey, you're not big enough to whip anybody. Mm-mm, no, I mean, you know, that's a small. You're sophomore. just you're just trying to hold mm-hmm. hold on to your ass, man. But yeah. you got big though. You got you. Oh were, yeah, you were six two, two thirty, probably oh, senior yeah. year. Yeah, senior year. Is, yeah. So you yeah. gained uh, eighty pounds. Yeah. Wow. Could, couldn't bench the fucking bar probably when I was I, a, a I freshman was, or whatever. My senior year, I was throwing up three sixty five. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we got a lot bigger, and well, that's that is Blackstone, dude. I mean, that was what he and where he worked on you, man, was right here. Yeah. I mean, you know, we started developing confidence. Yeah. And, we, and we flipped it around and we were fortunate when brad and i were in high school i mean i i, I can't talk about larry without talking about tony bornhorst man i mean mm-hmm. we we were fortunate he came in my freshman year too and okay. i mean i don't know how did you did you you played for Coach yeah and, and he 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 i don't i don't know what their relationship was uh-huh. they were respectful of one another sure they sure. were yeah, yeah oh yeah and i think i think tony took some stuff from larry yeah as far as because I mean, we played basketball growing up for years. Oh we, yeah, yeah. We never ever thought about lifting weights. No, and no, every no. every practice that was worked yeah. in. Yeah, it was. yeah, yeah. You know, we and, and so, then you yeah, guys I, were winning championships too. Yeah, I mean, we we did my, all right. Uh, yeah. Our senior year, your junior year, you guys won the league, mm-hmm. didn't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah split I mean, it. With God yeah, bless. Yeah, and yeah. It, it was very competitive at that time too, man. Yeah, I and mean, they they just their 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 competitive nature. Each yes, of them as individuals. Yes, yeah fed one another like they it was it was it kind of weird each man. Program. yeah like both of them you know just these two guys that came in from you know wherever yeah and, yeah. and it was like wow where I did mean, born horse come from chicago yeah he yeah he, he came from a school called riverside brookfield i think brookfield um suburb of chicago i don't know if it's even still a school i don't know i don't know he, he had some ties to the area yeah. Um, he went to grad school at Miami, I believe. Well, he w- he played college at Ohio Wesleyan. Yeah, where was he from originally? Like Pequa or something like that. Like seemed like Dayton area, I, Sydney or something. I, I don't know. That, maybe I'm not yeah, exactly I don't, sure. I don't know. I don't know. He might have been. He, he was still in Columbus. It might have been yeah. up that way. I don't. Yeah, even it could know. be. Yeah. Huh. You right. got you guys were the, where I cut my teeth, man. That was your scene. Your whenever you were playing for Born Horse and Leah was cheering. Dad would go because of Leah, and uh, that was whenever I got introduced to like varsity sports I was watching you and morgan and and you know i, I remember i could see your faces and probably right. clayton valentine clayton Jeff valentine Patrick, Brent, Jewel, yep. Woodard. Mm-hmm. about the time that was a hey man that was a pretty good uh, era for basketball in jackson buddy we, greg harris remember greg yeah, he was a couple was, years you know, old he was did you ever play on the same team as greg no they they kept us with our own class i thought that was really smart yeah we because you guys were known as a a very good basketball class. Yeah, I we mean, we had some pretty good success. And yeah, yeah. 
it wasn't until the very, very end of our sophomore year that they let us okay. even dress up and play some of the games. So yeah, yeah. we practiced. Uh, Potter was your JV coach, right? Uh, yep, yep. Or um, Little. Little was freshman. Freshman, yep. yeah. Had Gene Layton, both yep. seventh and eighth grade. Alvis, those those yep, are two yep, good yep, years. Yep, that, that was yep. fun. I love playing, playing up in the furnace. Hand, yeah, oh, yeah, gosh. oh yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> but no, we I I never we didn't play with Greg. He was gone. Um, so he's what class eighty nine. Yeah, yeah, probably. He he graduated when Brad was a freshman. Freshman, okay. That's yeah. about yeah. the time about right at the end of his season, and the next year, which would have been class of ninety, which would have been. No, that would have been no, that would have also that would have been uh, like George Smalley, Steve Walbert. That's who we practiced. Yeah, yes. and, and now and and you say that year they kept you guys together. Yeah, on JV. Yep, and mm-hmm. let those guys. Yep. Play. Yep. yep. See, I think that's smart, man. Yeah, we you know? we had a pretty good. We just, I mean, we could never get past Galpolis. Man, we they were good at that never, time. Though, yeah. We were zero and six Barnes. against Galpolis. Yeah. That Chad Barnes is them. He was there, he was there. Yeah. Yep. Younger. Mm-hmm. Yeah, younger. Than you. But it was the there was a. Point guard Williams, I think is his last name. Josh Williams, dude, I'm he telling. was in my class. Oh, dude, we just, great running back, at better basketball player. Just, <laughs> he, <laughs> I mean, are, are we allowed to swear on this show? Oh no, yeah, Brad, yeah, yeah, you yeah, can't yeah. Say shit. He, <laughs> he would, he would get up in your shit so bad. <laughs> oh, oh man, we were. I was scared to death. I'll be honest. Really? Man, I, it, I, it, I could not funny. get past him. It, it's funny, man. And and I want I, I, a gal plus. I'm rooting for you. Fix yourself. Yeah. You know, I mean, they were way too good. Oh, to, and, and and now yeah. they have committed to start playing us in football again. And I would say play us in everything. Yeah, I hated it. It's one of the way. greatest rivalries mm-hmm. in Southern Ohio, yep. in my opinion. Me too. I mean, you know, honestly, when I was a player and even probably when I coached, I looked at that as a much bigger rivalry than Jackson Wellston. Mm. Much bigger. I mean, it, me- it, it meant more. Yeah, you you had to beat Galpolis, right? Well, yeah, yeah, and, yeah, and yeah, you yeah. had to beat Wellston, yeah. but you but you just knew you were going to. Well, but the Galpolis one was a little tougher. Yeah, it was. You beat yeah. them. You you've won a game there, man. That's right. Mm-hmm. And I mean, because that we traded back and forth back. with them a lot. Well, the who ended up winning the overall the SEOAL us or them? Oh, I don't know. It, they, I think they squeaked ahead of us there. At they the might end. have. They might have. Oh, and then the league went. Yeah, before. The, but yeah. Man, I went to the, like one of the last Jackson Gal. Dude, there was like forty people in the Gal Plus stands. Yeah, see, that's now that's yeah. pathetic. I was like, what has happened? I mean, that used to be hey, such a. Hey, hey, we need you. Get back and, and get build yours. I mean, shoot, man, their football coach Saunders, Coach Osborne in basketball. I mean, mm, Oz, what a legend, dude. Geez. I mean. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, they were, and they were just really good mm-hmm. in everything. Yeah. You know? And fortunately, at the time, so were we. Yeah, I mean, great rivals. So you guys battled them big time in basketball. Yeah, Did we, you ever beat them? No, we we won. The last time I can remember that we beat them mm-hmm. was in Jackson JV last game of the season. Yeah, and we won in overtime. As, on a JV as, game, and you probably celebrated like you had just won the national oh, championship. Oh man, we like yeah, yeah. <laughs> Give me that trophy, man. Yeah. Give me that. And it was it was a weird it was a weird finish. Um, God, I feel like I know we beat Piketon by a tip in one time. Jewel had a tip in yeah. off of Willie's miss. I feel yeah. like Gallus oh, kind of just gets called out. Hey, <laughs> well, and, and, and Willie let's, still let's, this day claims that that was a pass. Well, <laughs> he, he he also had a tendency to draw three and four defenders, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, he, yeah, he did. He's yeah, trying he did. to shoot over three guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah, it, there's it, no one left on the other side, and yeah, there it is, yeah. right in his hands, and boom. boom. We, yeah. And they they didn't lose another game the rest of the regular season. That was when they had the kid from uh, e, uh, Beaver Eastern. Yeah. Transferred oh, over. Yeah, Coddle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Tall. Yeah. Tall kid, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. And and monster. They, they him and Jay and Lamerson, who was on Larson, the on yeah. the coaching staff when I helped fill the one yep, year. Yep, yep. Yeah. And I mean, they were good. Yeah, really good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What was that boy from Beaver at the time? Wasn't he like seven foot? At uh, and he and he ended up going somewhere. Was it was it Terry? Jason Terry? Uh, well, that was Gal Gal Pliss had a seven footer. That was couple, Love Day. Just a couple that years was, ago. I'm talking Zach Love Day. I'm, Terry, he played at OU. Yeah, he played at OU. Yeah, was he from Beaver? I, no, 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 not Beaver. He was, but it was somewhere. It was uh, an Eastern. I was thinking it was somewhere uh, in in the TVC, like you know, the Union of Zane Trace. All I could have swore it was Beaver Eastern or Chillicothe. I don't know because they they got a solid basketball program. Oh, they always have. Yeah, yeah that's. I remember school. playing them in junior high. You know, now mm-hmm. my my basketball class, un, unlike Brad's, uh-huh. uh, we were not very good. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, I mean, we we had uh, we had Clayton Valentine, mm-hmm. um, and and he literally scored all of our points. Um, <laughs> Clayton yeah. was good. He was good. He was real now? good. Where is he? Oh, oh, shoot, man. I just I just ran into his brother in in Chillicothe last last week, week two ago, something like that. I think he's still kind of in the area. Maybe Who's Columbus, his, maybe David. His brother's David. I didn't David. Know he works David. for uh, Kenworth. Works yeah. over at Kenworth. His dad was David too, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Remember whenever he was in the opera, or, uh, Iraq during the yeah. alumni tournament yeah. and yeah. everybody wore his number? Yep. You remember that? Yeah. Huh. I remember shit like man, that. Clay, like, Clay's mm-hmm. a good guy, man. Yeah, yeah I'd he like to see. I'd, quiet. What, I mean, quiet, but man, really good basketball player. He's and, the one that hit the shot for us in, at Warren Local yeah. to give us the share of the first title in, uh, yeah, in years. 30 years, whatever yeah, it was. Yeah, 30 years. Have we won one since? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now no. we've won. Yeah, now we're. Yeah, a lot yeah. more. I Have think. we? I, I think so. Heck, I think Max has won two or three, hasn't he? Could probably. Or like tied for it. Yeah. I have no yeah, clue what the basketball. Yeah. But, yeah, they, they, they have since. Okay. But, man, at that time, it had been dry, dude. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. Well, I think I mentioned this on either the, the last time I was here or the time before that we were talking about. Is this what we always talk about with you? No, not always. No. Yeah. But we were talking about how basketball was – it was – Really vibrant program, you know. We had, and it was Honda. Remember Honda yeah, Walters, dude. dude? Oh my god, he was the one that got the 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 Biddy League Pee Wee, whatever you yeah. want. You know to call what? It. All right. And I thought about this about forty five seconds ago. I don't know what made me go through my head. Hey guys, time to pay some bills. The show brought to you tonight by Brad and Sarah Munn, owners of your local McDonald's restaurants. Brad and Sarah have done a lot for our community. And McDonald's has done a lot for all of us. You know, the, the, their, the statement, I'm loving it, we can all relate to that. We've been loving it for years, and we love what they do for our communities uh, and our families. But let me talk about a big charity that they do, and that is the Ronald McDonald House. Man, anytime you get a chance to leave your change for that, it's a great thing. They allow parents of sick children to stay with their kids at the hospital for free. And uh, that's just the kind of things that McDonald's does. Get out and support your McDonald's restaurant. And it, it, my buddies had to calm me down the other day. But, but you know, I tell you, I, I do not see at this time, and I, I've told the mayor this, mm-hmm. I feel like that is an integral piece that this place is missing nowadays, and that is a city rec director. Because, yeah, we, we've gone away from that model, dude, and I don't like it. Yeah, well, I mean, the problem is, I mean, I don't, I don't uh, call it problematic, call it what you will. I mean, the, the the deal is, you have external groups, you know, like booster groups running the youth athletic program. Now, you can argue whether that's good or you bad. You can, you can, yeah. But I would say that, like, you know, we get nostalgic because we grew up in a time oh yeah where the memorial building was full every night you know always and, six and, days and, a week and, and eddie jones park or field mm-hmm. i mean and hondo and, Kept and her going. those guys i mean you know they, they were just there man and and then he was always coaching a team mm-hmm. and then he'd coach an all-star team i mm-hmm. mean and, and they didn't have the facilities that we do now Right. No, we, we I may mean, do with lesser facilities. We, yeah, and had, and, a, and had a thriving oh, program. Yeah, oh, dude, we were playing on eight foot rims at, at the Memorial oh, yeah. Building. Those hook on ones. Yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and I remember, I Brad, you were on this team. I think I was. We were on a, a, an all star team that I don't know even know what it was. It was McDonald's, mm-hmm. Hondo, and mm-hmm. uh, Tommy Dameron's dad coached mm-hmm. it. Mike. Mm-hmm. And I mean, we were dominant. It killed everybody. Yeah, yeah. It, wasn't it was close. awesome. Yeah, in the memorial <laughs> building. I mean, we would get people in there and just I murder mean, them. Oh, <laughs> it, it it was ugly. And, and I remember ugly. back then, it was weird. You think about the rec programs. Scioto Elementary School mm-hmm. had their own Pee Wee basketball team. Yep. Okay. And I believe maybe their own little league team or something. Absolutely. I don't know, man. Mm-hmm. But they would come and play in those tournaments and. They, they, well, that's what I'm saying. Used to like the school had its own team. Well, not I mean, not they all were of the them. On, they but, were the only one. But even league. back, like whenever our parents, were, oh yeah, that, yeah their yeah, school had a, had a had a bitty league team. Yeah. And I, you know, it's like I've I've tried to 
I, I haven't tried, but I, I would like to talk to whoever needs to because I think you could take that rec director spot, uh -huh. and with all the kids, it, it would by far pay for it, okay, because you oh, could you could. Take I don't a, think money's an issue with that stuff, man. Well, I, I, I mean, think maybe you, it is. I think I you know. need to pay them more than 25000 oh, like well, they yeah. used to, you know, and – you know, get somebody up there 60. Well, it's got to be serious. Yeah, it's got to right. be serious. Yeah. But, I mean, if you just upcharged all your entry fees five bucks yeah. or whatever, or took five bucks out of each entry fee, number one, you'll get such a bulk discount by ordering uniforms and all that stuff because you're not just one team doing it now. Yeah. You're the whole system. Well, and, and the other thing, man, and I don't even know if this is feasible now, but, like, uh, and not to just sit here and talk about, you know, nostalgia but like you you think about like little league and, and bitty league basketball for instance we didn't really have football um mm -mm. And flag. Flag, flag football yeah. mm -hmm. and uh but dallas cowboys man yeah you know, football right? be so hard to run we didn't even get scored on that no yet. we didn't yeah shut <laughs> but, them all down but the, uh, brat foster oh yep hey yep. We, we win this one we're going to the hut <laughs> Hey, when you made it Goose to the hut, dude, you, yeah, it yeah, was a big yeah, deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a big yeah, deal. Yeah, But, uh, I mean, we all, like, you, you would get a uniform in basketball or, or in baseball. You would get that uniform, and at the end of the year, you would turn that uniform back in. Mm -hmm. Yes. And yeah. they kept those somewhere. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I don't know. So that probably saved some cost, But right? they weren't 50-50 T-shirts either. No, they were they, they were, were a basketball, basketball you know, yeah, yeah or, or like yeah in baseball they were pants and well, jerseys and a full um, full cotton yeah it's jersey yeah I mean you know yeah um, oh, I'll never forget the the fights plumbing basketball jerseys oh, we had oh yeah those were nice dude red and gold yeah Ooh. I'm telling you it was like yeah. something out of the ABA is it ABA is that what the ABA yeah. oh my god the ball should have been red white and blue it should have been yeah it should have yeah, been yeah. Yeah. But, it might have been hell I don't know but. Oh, god. But on those eight foot rims, I mean, you got to be in fifth and sixth grade and you felt like, hey, man, those mm -hmm. things. I, I mean. Well, and not only the sports aspect, but I think we could use it for the fishing, oh. for, for the, the hunting. Well, I mean, the, that's the thing. Like recreation director you know, doesn't just mean. Yeah. You know, yeah. The, uh, the trails out yeah, to Hammertown, yeah, yeah. The, you know, that you got Jisco that you could open yeah, up. Yeah. You've just got you've got so many possibilities now. Yeah. And if anything, it should be easier for a rec director than yeah. what it used to be with the Facebook right, and all right. the technology now. I mean. Yeah. 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 And I mean, I just think in order for our city to grow, yeah. you, you, those clubs are great, but they can't get big money that cities can't. That's what I mean. Mm -hmm. Like they can't, they don't have access to getting grants mm -hmm. and things like that. And I mean, you know, damn man, this is, I, I'm proud of this city. I like living here, but we should have services like that. Did dude. you know that we were I mean, ranked eight Jackson County? Do you know we were ranked 88 out of 88 in tourism? Wow. Whoa. 88. 88 so nobody, 88. Wants to, nobody wants to see the apple tower or what man i mean <laughs> and, and what? you know what's funny i mean i'm all over like into yeah. recreation yeah right? yeah yeah uh and i don't know that tourism is recreation but mm -hmm. uh or recreation is tourism but um as far as recreation goes i mean we ought to be hanging with at least uh gallia i mean guy's got the river yep um, bob evans rio grand <laughs> I mean, I mean those bike trails and stuff. You know. Yeah, I mean we. I mean, and but they don't really have. No. Uh, yeah, I mean, look, well, man. or do they have like a Leo Petrocliff that I know of? Now there is one area down there that I I did not. It's a park. Uh, what's that park in Gallia? There's a there's a park over there that they everybody goes to in, the, in downtown. No, there's another one. There's there's another oh, big one, and it's like it. You can bow hunt there. It's like Hammer Town. Oh, like it's, I didn't realize hmm. that. Uh, it's yeah, I forget what the name is. It is. out there? Oe right, Meyer. Right? Oe Meyer. No, uh, that's who I used to work for. No, well, the, there's a there's a Oe Meyer park down there. Oh, Meyer. really? Oh, okay. Yeah. Where is it? Oh man, it's out like. Um, like out towards, I'm talking, I, I don't really know, but I think it's like it would be south. Is that south if you go to, towards Ironton on 7? Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. out in that area, uh, okay. I believe. Like okay. we're 580 or 855 yeah. or whatever yeah. it is hits. Okay. It's out yeah. in there. We took a Jeep ride and ended up there one uh, time. Okay. Oh. A Jeep, some big Jeep ride. I was. Yeah. I went on, I think it was with somebody in Oak Hill, and we ended up down there. Huh. But That's you good. could hunt and yeah. hike yeah. and do well, all Well, man, I stuff. would think like, you know, tourism, I think that now – what brings people to the area? I mean, my God, during deer season, you can't you can't get a, a room here, man. Mm -hmm. right? Now, I mean, that's big, right? Yep. Yeah, but I don't know that you would have any. Well, yeah, you can get a room here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I know Deerland fills up uh -huh. during deer season. Uh -huh. Yep. Cooper Hollow. I would. I would again. figure that would probably be our biggest draw. 
It ain't fishing. Yeah, I mean, what do you see? God, you you get your everybody. 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 Here we go. Uh, 14,572 cars go through there a day. Pretty close. Are we are we going to talk about some? Well, yeah, we're going to talk McDonald's. Okay. Not yet. Well, I'm about McDonald's, just like your your impact on McDonald's. Yeah, we'll talk the about the Chubby's that. impact. Yeah, yeah, we'll talk yeah, about. We, that. We, we like to talk. about Yeah, that. we love to talk about. I'm that. excited. <laughs> I don't I don't get a chance to I don't really get a chance much to to take a look at license plates and really uh-huh. check to see where. Yeah. Back when when it was just Jackson, my dad he would do that. He would he would check and. He always wanted to know, from, yeah, what, yeah, where are we getting the traffic from? Are they coming from the east, west? Where well, I mean, I, I think in and, the summertime, you know, what we basically are is just a drive-through. It's it's a yeah. On We're the way, on the route on the to, way the to the beaches, to the beaches, man. Yeah, you know? that's, that's a big thing. So people will stop here, maybe grab something to eat. Yeah. You know? But th- think of though, if we had a big old diamond and there was, you know, eight teams playing every hour and a half. Oh, oh hey man, Be on great. a Saturday, great. how much business would you get there? <laughs> I mean, you know, host, hosting, nice. hosting tournaments, hosting tournaments and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Well, go back to the Gal Police thing, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That, why are we eighty-eight? That well, the, the athletic side of it. That the root. Mm-hmm. Place, that's oh. got to be helping them. Oh my god! Because that place is packed all awesome. Time. That is nice. And why? Why couldn't? Why couldn't that happen here? I know the Y does a lot of stuff. Yeah. But if you had, but man, if it's you nowhere had, near that facility. Yeah. If you had, I mean, if you had specific for just like. Courts for basketball, courts for volleyball. You got outdoor stuff like. Do Do you remember? I mean, even that. Even like, do you remember? You were part of this. I played with you. Do you remember the games at Hillcrest? Oh, on a Wednesday night. We We were talking about that. You don't see that as much. Anymore. Mm-hmm. Guys would come from counties away. Like there mm-hmm. was a Vinton County crew, a I, Pike County crew. I, I was shocked. Okay, tonight my son came to meet us later for dinner. His His buddy dropped him off after school. A group of his buddies, there's probably 10 of them, went to the Y and played basketball. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I was like, <laughs> thank God. What the hell got into you guys? Hey, that's great. Yeah. I yeah. mean, you know, yeah. are you allowed to do that? <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, there's still a group of dudes that d- d- st- still do that. Whenever I was going to the Y, you would see there was a group of about 20 of them. Yeah. Well, these were kids. You Will, know, just, Willie's kids. They were always yeah. over there. They yeah. come in afterwards, him and uh-huh. he and the, um, Jenkins boy. Yeah. yeah. They were young. Austin Campbell. They were always they were in over there, there playing. Yeah. yeah. They, they still play some basketball down there. Uh, okay, good. But no, I'm talking like outside, you know, I mean, man, like that. Those outdoor courts, man. And, 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 is that and, our savior? Is sports? Because, I mean, as an Airbnb owner, <laughs> what I see that's drawing people here, uh-huh. the only thing that's drawing people here is manufacturing. Yeah. That's that's what I've seen. People coming to work. For people people are temporary. Coming, temporary yeah. or like we're like pretty close to where they're working. Like I've had yeah. some people working in Waverly. Yeah. You yeah. know that just yeah. maybe want to go here or something. Yeah. You know yeah. or like let's say you're working in Lawrence County, really. You know Ironton yeah. or Jackson where you yeah. want. Yeah. You know. Right. Um, yeah. but, well, we're 88. Yeah. That's amazing. Where where was that? What was that out of? Bryn Steps you mouth. <laughs> because she the, would know. yeah she she would know because she helped start this um i'm 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 way off here but she helped start this like um uh recreation side of the county mm-hmm. uh parks district maybe or Park district something or. there's something that she has helped oh the oh i know what it is jackson County tourism board okay mm-hmm. yeah. yeah she helped start that and because we were 88 and i mean we're pretty bad but I don't know about 88. I, I can't believe that. I mean, just with like. That's uh, countywide, though. Yeah. But, but like, I, 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 I try to tie it to like the, the wildlife or something like that, like mm-hmm. hunting and fishing. And, you know, we got Cooper Hollow. We got. Not that big. Is it not very big? 3,500 acres, something like that. See, which, whereas if you compare in Lawrence County, they got Wayne. Which is 50,000. Yep. Yep. So yeah, man, that maybe. I've know. always yeah. said that Jackson County is very like hunting wise is very like pockety. Like there's yeah. no big mass compared to like you get in some of these places and you'll find thousands of acres. Yeah. And and it's a population thing. I mean, yeah. our we're only like twenty or thirty square mile difference than Franklin County. Yeah. We're only like twenty or thirty square mile difference between uh, Vinton County. Yeah. Okay. Vinton County's population fifteen thousand. Jackson County population thirty six thousand. Yeah. Okay. So you're naturally going to have more area. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Columbus, you're not because there's four million. Yeah. Right. Right. So it's like, uh, you know, but but I mean, if you could do one, if I if if you could do one thing though to bring in tourism, what would it be? If I could do one if you, thing. If you could do one, if you, if you could do one thing, what would it be? Oh, to bring geez. people here. 
Because that's where the money comes from. The money comes from the influx of new money. Man, that put me on the spot. I don't know. I, I, I don't think that's an easy riddle to solve, man. I think I think a sports complex would do it. That it would could. definitely help. I mean, the, because if, if you could host tournaments, that to me is like an easy way to bring people. Well, you got 11 kids yeah. on each team. Right. A, a minimum. Yeah. Okay. All plus parents. Yep. Plus grandparents nowadays. Yep. You know, so so each game is good for about seventy people, and you can kick a game out every hour. Yep, yep. But then I'll tell you, man, where we struggle. Um, you know, I've done the the travel baseball thing, mm-hmm. for instance. Yep, yep, um, yep, yep. The problem we got here is if we if we built a facility, lodging. Yeah, if we built a facility yeah. to host something like that, where are people going to stay? We don't really have. But see, there you go. Now, a now, hotel. Here, now, yeah, we don't have a hotel. Now, now, you know, I get these calls all the time. They'd be hey, staying in chill coffee, man. They, mm-hmm. That or you, something would happen. I mean, you know, you'd find enough Airbnbs or, yeah. you know, how many of you stayed in all of them, though, didn't you? Oh, buddy. You stay. You stayed. You didn't commute to any of them. Uh, well, I mean, they're too far away. Now, with the other bunch, you, you drove to most of them. Some, yeah, they're closer. So yeah. could you host those? Probably. Yeah. I mean, you pro- we do. We host one of them now. I'd be curious to see what that's like. You well, know, yeah. So we have we weekend. have three hotels, right? Mm-hmm. How how often are they full? Yeah. Never. So I mean, there there is places have, to stay. They're just not five star. Well, I mean, yeah. we've we've been tournaments. Yeah. Their kids yeah, growing yeah, up, yeah, we yeah, stayed yeah, in places yeah, weren't. Yeah. But so how take, many rooms are we talking there. about? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, and if you didn't know, like if you were coming in here and like you didn't know any better, I mean, you'd stay there. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I've stayed in worse. I mean, mm-hmm. I don't, I don't, I'm not running down our mm-hmm. lodgings here. I just don't know if there's enough. Well, and, and I the think the ones I, we have aren't very big. But that's where you you jump into some expansion, and you could say, okay, well, then fire up some more Airbnbs. There's people yeah. that don't know if there's a need. Yeah. There's a need. There is a right, need right there yeah. for that. Yeah. You know, I mean, now is does there, do you need any more right now? I don't think you do. Uh, I mean, there, lots of us sitting there with them empty. You know, some. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And but if you had something like that, at least in the summertime, I mean, you don't have to do those all the time. No, no. You know, no. I um, mean, there, you know, stuff like that. I, like I said, I think that's low hanging fruit. Something mm-hmm. like that. But like, we're never gonna have an old man's caves. No, no, I mean, that's, that's the thing, you know. Now, Leo, man, I'm telling you, Leo's not bad. Yeah, they got some trails out they there. They got too. trails. It's beautiful. It's like, hey, a- I'll tell you what, you know, Canner's Cave is a 4 H camp thing, but like, dude, if they would ever open that up a little bit to to, to the public, that's I mean, a, there's a, a really nice, nice trail place. system out yep. there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, is that is that just private now or what? I, I believe it's like a county. Camp. Or yeah, I don't, I don't really know. 4 H. It's awesome. Yeah. What else we got? We got Lake, Lake Catherine. Catherine. Yeah. Well, yeah. even you know, Lake Jackson and Lake Alma, yeah. they're those yeah. are beautiful oh, sure. areas. Yeah. And why isn't there like built in trail systems like around those? Like if they're if they're gonna spend the money to stock the lake and all that, like why why don't we realize and you do that to bring in fishermen or to create wildlife and I mean that's a whole ecosystem type of uh-huh. situation. Yeah. But I mean at the same time, wouldn't you want I'll tell you what's a good example of that, man. And I don't know if you've ever been there. You guys ever been to Pike Lake? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Horseback Pike County. Many times. I mean, now, that isn't anything special, guys. Half the size of Hammertown. But they've got they've got trails. Hey, guys, we got to pay the bills. Let's talk about AP Prep and how you look them up at APprep.info. You go in there. If you've got a child and they need performance training, that's one of the things that they offer. And it's simple. Their performance training, it drives their athletes to seize full potential genetic potential and first of all they're going to assess your kids overall balance their mobility their hand-eye coordination their foot speed understand all their body mechanics their output their strength everything look them up apprep.info all the infos there you'll see it then they got a boxing class for the adults it's 10 bucks or you can join by the month uh these workouts you can burn up to a thousand calories an hour so Uh, guys you can't beat it Look it up. I know it's a drive over there. It's a good time for you and your kid. You'll love it. Get, do some good bonding time. APprep.info. Look them up. They got a campground. They got, you know, we, we don't really have anything like that. So and this, why, why couldn't we have like a Lake Hope uh-huh. with a lodge like that with a restaurant? So the EPA, yeah. I, 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 I mean, understand, was, place. was recently out to Hammertown. And, you know, the, I'm just giving you hearsay, but 
um, I heard that they were out there and they, cause the, the stigma behind that lake and I, I know every square inch of that lake. Okay. And the, the, everything about that whole piece of property, I've been all over it a thousand times. No, no, that lake has zero feed. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the only thing that feeds that lake, which means there's no contaminants. Okay. Because you don't get anybody else's nah, stuff. It's nah. nothing. So the only thing that feeds that lake is natural springs and, and runoff. Yeah. Okay. And runoff of, of clarity. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So like, you know, there's always been this argument about Hammertown and okay, well, that's our drinking water. Uh -huh. Fair, fair. Okay, yeah. I'm with you. Got great water. Uh -huh. um, however, if you are not able to treat, like, okay, for example, Gallia County gets their uh, water, or, like Megs or one of them gets their water from the river. Oh, yeah. Okay. So if you can treat that water that's in the river, okay, uh -huh. then what would a no-wake zone, if, if we're not capable of handling the contaminants of a no-wake zone limit on the lake that you could take a pontoon boat out to, uh -huh. that you could uh -huh. do things, you could, you could then apply for state money because now you, you have gas-powered motors. Otherwise, yeah. you're pond or you're a reservoir. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, you're just uh -huh. basically a reservoir. But, you know, there, it's like if, you, if we can't handle that, and I don't know that we can. I'm not trying to talk, like, into the city's business, but, like, you know, we should be able to handle that much thing so the epa come out here and basically told us that we could like hey you guys whatever you guys want to do out here you can you know your, your lake's good uh -huh. i mean that thing in its day that hammertown lake was way that was so futuristic as far as that goes uh just how deep it is i mean it's never going to run out of water uh that thing's that thing's probably 90 foot deep out there in the channel oh uh -huh. i mean uh -huh. it's deep uh -huh. if you if you get off that rock there, there there's there's two rocks that come around all that lake and they go out there about 30 feet you get off that rock boys and you'll never touch bottom mm -hmm. never never yeah i understand there's like a, a house or two down there yeah I, i'd say they're done now I oh mean, yeah uh, i mean that was years ago. i think at one time there was a whole silo that was still down there yeah yeah because they flooded they the old flooded lady that, farm yeah or one of the farms out there but uh you know it'd be i think that would be a huge draw for us oh yeah like yeah. if the if that property was developed now you know south street would get busier uh -huh. you know lo lots of stuff would get busier but you know i don't know i don't know there again you run into the topography issue uh -huh. you know okay even hikers bikers horseback riders whoever we're only so many feet of elevation right okay so you know we're only capable of so much hill however that's good if you're looking for the intermediate stuff we're all over it yeah you know we're three or four hundred feet above gallia oh yeah so like you know like there's a big difference between biking rye grand and great seal just on topography oh yeah you know so it's 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 it'd be interesting to see where I, we would I, fit I just, in you know that. i i don't know that we have ever here really worked hard to try to gain tourism man look at man look at our industry 20 years ago you had ap green goodyear Marilat, yep. mills pride yep. you didn't have to you had people in here all the time yeah yep. you imagine true. if we had that now mm. it'd be nice you think think about that, man. Those things were monsters. Thousands of jobs. Thousands. Well, you go run back then to the fifties and think about those furnaces. Railroad. Mm -hmm. yeah. And D T yep. and I. Yeah. Look at the size of that rail yard over there, man. I mean, that gives you an idea of what the hell was going on here. Man, wouldn't you like to have been here then? I think it would have been neat. Mm. So tell us about McDonald's, Brad. All yeah, right. Yeah, so yeah. I want to know what is going on with McDonald's. All as right. far as tell me the good. How many employees you have now? Did I hear you tell Chad like two fifty? I think all together we're like two, two thirty five maybe. What are, I bet your top ten employers. That's I mean that's four. Uh, rep, yeah, but in Jackson I think we're sitting right around ninety. What well, Jackson County though? Um, two ten. Yeah, two twenty. Well, yeah. So that means so we're about we're about a hundred in the two small ones. One ninety two. Yeah, we're probably more like. Probably like the 250 then, 255, now that I think about it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, so your top 10 employer have to be, right? I can't think of anybody. I mean. I would say pretty close. You got to be pretty close, yeah. yeah. So so what, uh, and, and I heard I heard Chad and you guys were talking before I got here whenever I was doing this. Um, you say the majority of them aren't teenagers anymore. No, I, I just off the top of my head, just thinking through the people that I see every day, no, I would say. You know, the night, lot, we still have a lot of them on night shift, of course. That's that's their, you know, after school, whatever. But 
I, I would say the majority of us, I, they're not minors. I, w- I would argue that they're not minors. 30 years ago, what was that ratio? Oh, uh, Probably 50-50. And Maybe. now it's what, 80-20? 70-30 anyway, but would be my guess, yeah. Yeah. Well, but, but think about how many other places we have yeah, they yeah, could yeah, go yeah, work yeah, at yeah, night. Yeah, yeah. So right, that, that right, changes right, the scope right, a little right. bit. Yeah, you're going to lose some of them. Just, just different things that they can do to earn an income. But um, it's it's changed, that's for sure. Oh, <laughs> I bet changed. it has. Yeah. 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 Well, so is your business. Look how much of your business now is. is let's, let's talk about that. Let's, okay. let's, yeah. let's do a little plug for you guys let's here. Let's do it. Let's do it. I've been waiting on this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I was do, doing some some research, and this is this is just – Raw data, very you, raw. You started advertising with us when we started, mm-hmm. but we made a hard push on the app. What would you say, Chad? 2023. Early, oh, no. Early, early, I was going to say mid-22, early yeah, 22. I was going to say early 22. Yeah. 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 So I, I did some research. I, okay. I, I went to get it out of my office tonight, and it's, I must have thrown it away. But the the first year we really started doing the digital stuff, 2020, mm-hmm. still dealing with COVID, obviously. A lot of people were just doing drive through. There wasn't a whole lot because no one really wanted that contact service right, anymore right, still. Right. So it was a real low number. Um, so year two, 21, 2021, was like a 300% increase. It was crazy. It just blew up. The right? app did. Blew up. But it came from zero. Uh, we were like 1.5%, 1, 1. 1.8% 1. of our total sales was mobile app. stuff. Yeah. Um, so 21 was a lot better year. Um, 22 was very similar to 21, but then the jump to 23 was gigantic. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Not not per, not so much percentage wise, but just dollar wise, right? Cuz so same people. Same people, a lot of new people. Um so I I was trying to compare between each of the restaurants and their growth over the 4 years to the we wouldn't here. have as much effect in your Venton County. Correct. Correct. Mm-hmm. And um, now, keep in mind, McDonald's was pushing. Mm-hmm. There, oh, yeah, a sure. Lot that was a national campaign. Yeah, a lot that, of dollars yeah. behind it. But it, and so we saw, I saw similar um, growth because of that in all four restaurants. You see a little bit here and there. Yeah. But there's a there's definitely a, a, a gap between <laughs> the percentage here in Jackson. Okay. And there are the percentage growth in the other one. Well, all right. So yeah. I, <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to speculate an actual number, but yeah. if I had to guess. Yeah. I'd say at least at least a percent and a half, two percent. So you are big, you ha- are money. you happy? Oh, absolutely. Okay, absolutely. I mean, how many times do you do people tell you talk well, to you about it? Chad, hey, Pudge. Chad gets more than I do. Yeah, yeah. I, a bunch. I yeah, get it a, a lot. My, my points yeah. are eighty five thousand. A lot. I've got, I'm just I can, yeah, yeah, I can show you. I can show you messages that we get all yeah. the time yeah. of guys that um, that send us a picture of their points. Yes, and and they'll send us a, a picture of spot number five. Oh, I bet. Yeah, or they'll ask me a lot of times, like, how many points you got now, man? Yeah, and and you know, honestly, I don't know. A lot of times, I never use them. I was telling him, yeah, man, my problem is I, I love just pulling in a slot and getting my food. Yeah, I don't even pay attention. Then, I'll yeah. I'll do the deals. Yeah, yeah. I, well, I I don't do that enough. I need to start doing that. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, there's and, a lot of deals. Yeah, lot of good and deals I need to there. use my points too. And I mean, but like there'll be dudes asking me like, "Hey, how many you got, man?" Yeah, yeah. I'll just hit them with like eighty five thousand. <laughs> well, if you if you drive by there on a Friday or Saturday, yeah, especially yeah. Saturday, uh huh. Yeah. From eight thirty in the morning until probably, I'd say one thirty, mm-hmm. you won't find too many empty spots in that Here row there, five. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, they're, it, they're it looks like they churn and burn, man, and, and, and that has happened. I, I can testify to that because now it's to the point. Sometimes I'll go there and there won't be a spot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 you know. yeah. And I always want to well, take sit, take a picture, sit it to you, and say that's the best money you ever spent. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I, it's it's completely changed our business model, like staffing wise, inside. In, in a good position, way, in a good way or a bad way. It, uh, it no, in a good way. Okay. But so we've had to reposition people. Yeah, and so like had the business have, model's different. Yeah, you're running people full, out full there time person time. taking orders out. Taking orders. Yeah, out. Oh, especially doing. on Saturday from that that time period, they they you know they've got their vests on. Oh well, yeah, 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 yeah. Got to have the yeah, vests on. Yeah. yeah, but it's it is we have it's a full time position. For, well, for those now like hours. you you know, 
I think we talked about on here before. Like, didn't you say that breakfast is the is the king there? Yeah, like it's that's still, not, it's, it's still. Yeah. I mean, yeah. And but like the app, that's where I think the app's the best, man. Breakfast in the morning, because man, the drive through in the morning. Yeah, I mean it's oh, packed, dude. especially going to the school I mean, time. Yeah, yeah, man. And yeah. I mean, they're literally, man. You got cars out there on Main Street. Dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I and mean, what's amazing is you've got you, you'll have that backup of traffic, and then you will have. Uh, and then you will have uh, – you'll go buy the rest of them, and they're empty. Yeah. I mean, it, it's crazy to me. So, okay, going back. I mean, McDonald's our, breakfast is king. Tooting our own horn here for a minute. To, you know, so going back. Okay. Beep, beep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, I'm curious because, hey, man, and Chad will tell you, we, we really, like, we wanted – like, we didn't just want to take your money. Right. Oh, no, I know. And, yeah. and I mean, it's not like we, we don't take a dime from this podcast, you know, yeah. right. now we would love to get it to that point, you know, and yeah. we're, we're trying to do some other things, you know, with merch and, yeah. you know, our, we have everything other than, um, the only thing that we don't have is our thousand YouTube subscribers. Yeah. Now we have like hours and hours and hours way above the required minimum hours to make money, to monetize mm-hmm. on YouTube. Cause our old podcasts were two hours long, mm-hmm. Yeah, but but Spotify, we're making money. Apple, we're making money. But YouTube, we're not. We're making money off merch. Uh, and then, you know, I, I say making money, but what I'm saying is we're cash flowing off of those. Right. And and the same as our sponsors. You know, like, we, you know, there's two or $3,000 just worth of cameras right there. Mm-hmm. Okay. So my point with all that is, is like we, we did not, we went to our buddies that we thought that we could help. Right. Mm-hmm. Sure. And, yeah. and we wanted to make sure that it was like something that now Massey, God love him. I doubt yeah. we've changed his life. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. um, you know, I think Prater's very happy with his, I, you know, I know whenever I was in the insurance business, I, I had, I, I can tell you for a fact, people mm-hmm. were calling me about life yeah. insurance because of the commercial, the commercials. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So do you think that it's, what do you think that that is that made them start using the app? Do you think it was like the repetitive? Do you think it was like the, to where it was on Spotify versus any other sources or YouTube or like, where do you think that those people consume that to, to download that app? I, I think all those avenues probably help, but I mean, it's, it's just like anything else. People start talking about it and they yeah, want to be well, a part like, of it. And that's the thing. Like, they want, we, they we, want to be in there doing what everybody like, well, I want the deals. Well, I, want, you know, I, I, yeah. think, I avoid think that line that a lot of them were probably like me, man. They, they didn't even, they weren't aware of what it was. Mm-hmm. They had right. seen this thing about the app, seen this mm-hmm. thing about the app. Yeah. Well, then we start advertising it and we started using it and both of us, Loved it. Loved it, mm-hmm. yeah. And yeah. it's pretty easy to advertise when you're talking about like, something you love. Yeah, we're right. like, hey, man, <laughs> you got to check this out. Yeah. It's a game changer. And that's the yeah. thing, like, you know, not that we've turned any sponsors down, but like, you know, we want our sponsors, you know, and I, I don't know how to do this. I mean, you're mm-hmm. a big business guy. You know, help me if you can. But like, you know, how do you get these sponsors that like, I love it whenever they are our dudes. Like or not dudes, but just our people. You right, know, I mean, right. just even yeah. Goodman. You know, like Goodman's our dude. Yeah. You know, now, now, yeah, we. It's hard for Chad and I to model. You know, Fab D's product <laughs> please, line. Please, I don't. think I'd look great. Please in don't. I think yeah. you would too. Yeah, yeah. But, but I mean, we just love that. I hope that they love it too. You know, we we hope that they get a, you know a bang yeah. for their buck from us for no matter no matter what it is. But like you know, what's interesting is we can almost tell you like every demographic there is about who's listening to us. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And I I would love to compare. I, I wish we could pull that. So if you if you do the surveys, uh huh. I, I think the one of the last questions might be, at least it used to be, they'd ask you your age, yeah, uh-huh. uh, just to get a little bit of demographic background. Yeah. But I don't, I don't, I don't think there's anything on here that you have to put your age or no. Anything. When you set up your account on that, I don't think no. you do, man. Yeah, which is shame because that I mean that would be a great way to target any audience, yeah. whatever, mm-hmm. whatever group you want to go after with with the certain specials they want yeah. or well, heck, our, de- our demographic has dropped like ten years in age. From yeah, what, yeah, from we, what it was. We oh, were yeah. thirty-five to forty-five, and now we've moved into twenty-five to thirty-five. You guys, I mean, you guys, there, there have to be other businesses, dudes out there, like you say, mm-hmm. that have that type of business that oh, your yeah. listeners would. Well, dude, we never ask. 
Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, um, and it's not that, I mean, because we literally have fun doing this, you well, know, yeah, I mean, yeah, now, yeah. hey, if you want to be a sponsor, give us a shout. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, but yeah. uh, uh, we'll do our best. Yeah. 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 You know. uh, also, we don't want to water down our pods with with 30 million spots. Right. You know, sure. You know, but but now, I mean, things has changed a little bit. I mean, we've moved this studio. I would love to just keep doing this. Um and get this to where it at least paid us enough to, that I justified not renting this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we've talked about that. A sure. Thousand times. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we'll get there. It's I, yeah. I, yeah. We got to get to a thousand YouTube subscribers uh, on the double because that allows us to do some, some different things. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Then, then once you get to that thousand mark, everything opens up for you. Mm-hmm. Then, then okay, now, you know, I'm not sounding cheesy here, but, like, so then you get into creator status. Well, what's going to what's gonna really fly us past that is all the hours watched, mm-hmm. okay? But you got to figure, man, you know, let's just say a, a thing goes viral and in, in you're in Columbus, okay? It's going to be in your face. You're going to pick up a 1,000 people like that. What we've found is is it's hard here. Yeah, <laughs> right, right, right. Like yeah. It's, I mean, no, it's the internet, but at the end of the day, you know, between Facebook and Instagram, all these people. We, we ramp up, like, every now and then we'll get a pop on TikTok yeah. or something yeah, yeah, or on yeah. a reel, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. where, where I think that's just more of a – it's just a larger uh, consumer base. I mean, there, there, a lot of people are watching yeah. TikToks, and occasionally we'll figure out that algorithm. Occasionally, and get on there, you know. Yep. And See, I don't, I don't understand that realm at all. Well, I can I, tell I you that 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 video that Chad had that went like four million. I've talked about it a dozen times, but you know, we've we've had we've had two videos get you know uh, had we had one to get two million, one to get you know almost six between everything, and um, the one the two million one was the the difference between us having like 400 followers on everything. Yeah. And then that took us up over a thousand on most and and organically, you know, and then this last one, we probably doubled all of our followers on not. And and we need to have another one. Yeah. Now, now like on Facebook, like it didn't do anything for us, but like on Instagram, it took us from a thousand followers, 2000 TikTok took us from 1500 to 2,500 um, you know, Instagram. Yeah, I already told you Instagram, but Facebook it didn't do anything. And YouTube, it took us. It it, it jumped us about probably two hundred fifty, three hundred subscribers. And, and see, Pudge is good at getting on there. Like he can look at one of our episodes and pull a clip out. Mm-hmm. I, I would have never known to pull that clip out, dude. I mean, it was he me. Knows which ones talking like a complete there, but yeah, jack off. It, but it, but know. it gets the the followers. Yeah, yeah. I mean. I just whatever I like. I just yeah, click, yeah, you know. yeah, yeah, yeah. You, but, <laughs> but, but it gets it. You wanted that. You wanted a little secret. Yeah, I used to do it while I'm shitting. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's even better. That's even better. I use some I'm of your used, best. They always say, yeah, in there. Men, men do their best work. Oh, I, I always think, well, well what can I do yeah. to be productive while I'm just sitting here, you know, emptying my business? So uh, uh, I think, well, let's bust up a clip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, here's one of Chad talking about pissing in the ocean. Hey, perfect. Yeah. That was pretty good. Yeah. That was pretty yeah. good. Yeah. Because <laughs> I mean, you know every dude well, in America I mean, is I mean, sick of the ocean. Yeah, thing that, the only thing that made it good is that every person has done that. Oh, 100%. I mean, yeah. what, what, which is that what you said on the on the six million one? Uh, I think I said, yeah. I, uh, what I like to do is sit on the beach and turn beer into. And the, yeah, that was a turn beer into business. But <laughs> yeah. there was one. There that was, was another. One that I said, if you see a picture of me <laughs> in the sea, <laughs> you know I'm what I'm pissing. doing. I'm pissing. <laughs> yeah, I'm pissing. <laughs> Just so you know, I just thought that was hilarious. That's so the only like, time I'm in the sea. I mean, yeah, when I'm yeah me yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, every one of us oh, here. You see fantastic. us out there, belly button deep. We're pissing. You know. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah. The water's pretty warmer. Around us yeah. Right here. yeah so but like whenever that happens though you know a, a large amount of people come into all of our channels right so um it, it's, it's just that's all that stuff interests me you know you how, know it's it, it's it's been amazing man our core group of sponsors <coughs> like you guys yeah massey Prater, mm-hmm. have been with us since we started mm-hmm. very first one yeah and we wouldn't be able to do any of this mm-hmm. if it wasn't for guys like you no so, and we we really appreciate yeah it. yeah you, you guys kept us going like man yeah do you remember yeah. we i mean thank god we end up buying a building but I mean, dude, we rented a building upstairs. Yeah, we rented we rented a thirty two hundred square foot building. <laughs> yeah. and used four hundred <laughs> square feet of it. Feet. And, and you know what? 
Loved every minute. Of every it. second oh. of it. <laughs> every second of it. Hey, we, there was so many drunken nights in that old that old studio. Well, we've kind of changed up the way we yeah. run the podcast yeah. now. As far as we don't get near that drunk. My God. now tonight we're hey we're kind of going old school here. About, yeah, about drinking it. a little. We've yeah. about killed that, haven't we? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's but, a, that's the interesting thing about our business too is the the new advertising then the channels are not the same. Like it used to be print TV. It's it's what what are you finding with that, Brad? Like like, or is there any kind of advertising that in your mind is just effective, dead, or or like, or do you feel like you need to keep playing in all of it? Like I would imagine, like for instance, let's say you, and I don't want to get specific, but I'm I'm just throwing out scenarios. Like if you've always advertised in print, it's probably hard to stop doing that. Like, or, or if you've always done this, uh, then that, you, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like it, it, do you, do you ever get nervous? Like, man, I don't really want to, I don't want to quit doing that. Yeah. So, I mean, TV is always good for sure. Okay. So yeah. the, the money we send to our, our co-op, our well, mm-hmm. business unit, they call it now mm-hmm. that gets funneled out into that's, that's always still good. We, yeah. get, we yeah. get good exposure from TV. you guys probably got one of the top five brand recognitions yeah. In, yeah. in the country yeah. or in the world yeah. in the world but yeah. we you know we we started to do stuff on facebook and yep. youtube mm-hmm. all of them whenever you see we're out there and do, do you ever um, do that from a local level brad or is that always just do you just let corporate kind of handle all of that and and do they restrict you they on what you can do they do not okay um we've always we've always been um supporters of the local Right. Media. So right, we, right. we still do stuff with the, the uh, total media. We still yeah, do, do stuff yeah. in the paper. I don't, I don't read the paper much anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know what we get from it other than it keeps relationships. Well, you know? yeah, that's what I mean. It's like, so I, I think that sometimes it gets difficult when you've been doing something for so long. Like I, I always say with, with my, with my company, all right, like with what we do, we go to trade shows, you know, and do that some, and, and a lot of the times, like the value in the trade shows over the last four or five years, right, kind of going down a little bit. But I think it would be a bigger deal for people to come into the trade show and be like, "Oh, they're not here. Mm-hmm. Why they aren't know, Why yeah. aren't they here? Yeah, you yeah. know, it like it's almost one of those things where you just do it because you kind of have to. Yeah, or people start thinking, "Man, are they are they struggling? Are they you know what's going on? Yeah, yeah. So we we do we beyond what we spend. What McDonald's takes from us for their national right. advertising pool and our co-op pool, we still have a local budget that we, okay, we use, okay. and it all goes to total media and it's TV or not TV radio. Yeah, it's print. Um, we do some other live events and help with that, but we we've just we've kept doing it because I like you said I think people expect us. Yeah, they want to see us there if it's if it's a yeah. If it's on the radio or if they're doing a live remote somewhere, you know, they, they like well, that even, stuff. Yeah, even yeah. school stuff. I mean, you yeah. Know, like, yeah. Yeah. And where does that stop, man? Like, do you do like program ads? Do you yeah. do, I mean, and man, I program mean, ads, banners, a million of those, man. I mean, yeah, it's, it's at every school that you're, you're associated t-shirt with. T-shirt sponsors. Yeah. It's, it's pretty much. How much money are you devoting towards throwing your name out? Man, I. I can, Go on I, a percentage basis. I can give you a percent. So yet. we we do. I'm I'm trying to think. One. I don't know how many zeros is there? <laughs> one point one point six five a month to. It's it's just north of two percent of our sales to that, that you're using McDonald's and and to national. put back into it. Yeah. And but locally, it's probably another half a percent on your out of your pocket. Yeah. 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 So okay. um, a dollar amounts it it varies. You, it so it it comes in waves too. So. You'll get a bunch of stuff early in the fall, right? Yeah, you yeah. Might, you'll have a you'll have a gap. Hey guys, while we're paying the bills, let's talk about one of our oldest uh, sponsors that's been with us since the beginning, Geiger Brothers. Geiger Brothers is headquartered in Jackson, Ohio, with offices in Columbus, Ohio, and Knoxville, Tennessee. We provide construction services in Ohio, Kentucky, West Virginia, and Tennessee. A veteran and dynamic staff of talented people, symbolic of our 100-year history of success, gives Geiger Brothers a distinct advantage. Leveraging that experience for our customers allows us the ability to provide consistent and superior performance 
for their construction, engineering, and fabrication needs. And hey, we've had several of these guys on our shows. Uh, Scott Massey, Kyle Hickey, Shay Meredith, just to name a few. Go back, look through some of the old episodes and get to know them. It's a great group of people that have been with us for a long time, and we certainly appreciate them. So enjoy tonight's show, courtesy of Geiger, Geiger Brothers here in Jackson. Okay. And then basketball starts up, so you'll yeah. get all the basketball stuff, yeah, wrestling yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah. Then you'll have a little bit of a break. Then you get baseball and softball. So the, it, it kind of... But, like, you guys are probably also getting, like, you know, prom committee. Oh, yeah. Band. I mean, yeah. like, I, I've always thought that it would be very difficult to sit in, in your position, okay? At so, like, how, how do you draw the line of, of DMARC? Like, like, I mean, that's got to be a tough spot, man. Yeah. Because if you tell somebody no, it's like, ah, oh, man, you know. <laughs> it's, it, you, you, yeah, you, but, you, it, but you're also running a business. Right. I mean. Um, at, at the end of the day, though, this is, this is what helps me get through everything, right? Okay. And we've had this conversation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It may just be $25. It may just be $50, maybe whatever the number is. But. Right. Those are still the people that come in, right? You're right. So it, yeah, yeah. We 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 don't we we really try to spread it out. We don't like to do large just one amounts. thing or yeah, 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 yeah. So we try to spread it out. I mean, we do theater, we do the band, we do yeah, the prom, yeah. we do four yeah. H. Yeah, oh, we, yeah, we, yeah. We just because, like you said, the community of thirty four thousand people, thirty three. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That's your audience. That's your customer base. You yeah. Just you have to try to do what you can, and it's yeah, it, dude, it's hard. It's that's why but I'll go ahead and say this. You know, anybody, I, I really don't know how anybody ro- could feel good about themselves about how they get on the internet and bash. <laughs> you know, I mean, because honestly, yeah, we love you. You're our sponsor. Like well, you know, yeah. yeah. But at the end of the day, you've sponsored. I mean, I just know this as being your buddy. But I mean, you've sponsored everything. Pretty much. And and, and you know there. Yeah. There so I mean, like Brad, you guys rarely say no, dude. And, and there yeah. isn't a damn. There isn't <laughs> yeah. an event for children that you don't go to, uh-uh. that you don't either see your your sign, your name, your cups. Your high C orange, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. your yeah. cheeseburgers, or 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 something. But is that also part of being a McDonald's in a? Small it is. Community? That's the model. I, yeah, I mean, it that, is. That, is yeah. it really? Because oh, I mean, yeah. that probably goes back to Ray Kroc, right? Yeah, and all that. Yeah. Like, probably this, not this Ray. Is, well, <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think, uh, he's more the system, right? Yeah, like like the the the, the, the cooking system or whatever. Yeah, but so like it's, it's interesting. Mm-hmm. We talk to McDonald's friends of ours from mm-hmm. larger areas, big. They don't have that connection. No, probably not. Yeah. No, but but anybody that's you know along the Ohio River from yeah, Marietta yeah. down, yeah, Gallipolis, yeah, yeah, Pomeroy, yeah. us, yeah. Ironton, they understand these thirty thousand uh, county groups. These these yeah, little yeah. rural the rural area. Yeah, but if yeah. you so you're saying if you go to like let's say you go to Grove City and you talk to those owners, they're not getting beat to death by them people. I, they don't even know them, do they? Probably not. Yeah. Well, but see, like it's just a staple down here. Yeah, I mean, and that's probably well I mean, the thing that that like McDonald's does, right? Like, so in, in their communities, right? We, or, I, I saw I saw the impact we had in Wellston because I was around when we built that restaurant, yeah, yeah. and Oak Hill, yeah, and MacArthur. Like it, it's 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 a big deal. Well, yeah, I, I'm not pat, yeah. I'm not beating my yeah, chest, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you get a McDonald's. Oh, yeah. Even go back to the '70s. That's like, hey, oh, you're you're on the map. Hey, dude. right? Yeah, we. This this is well, kind of a, well. I mean, I remember what a big deal it was when we got this one right. out here when your dad came. To, I mean, you yeah. Know. So you you have to just keep that in mind anytime you're you're you damn sure don't want to lose it. No, absolutely not. <laughs> you know? No, that's why you know you, it is it you you there are times it's you want to say no. Part of it. yeah, because because you know. January, February, maybe your sales are a little bit light. Yeah, you yeah, got yeah, you know yeah, this yeah. weather and that. Yeah, you yeah. Might, might not have as much in the budget, but yeah. you just you do you find do yourself kind of just being like, man, I I probably need to just yeah. Very very rarely <laughs> we don't. Yeah, I, yeah, I mean, yeah. it's listen. It's it has been a it's been a very good business to be in. Yeah, you know, oh, my yeah. dad knew that he he oh, yeah. was great for me growing up and. Mm-hmm. The, the things that it has provided us, I, I would I would I would not want to take sure sure take away from what has gotten us here. No. You know, just to save 
50 bucks or 70 yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I got it's you. just not worth not worth, worth it, it. yeah you know, well so. i don't think you'll talk to too many employees that that have worked for you either that don't didn't just love their time mm. you, you know i'm talking well i mean I, I think there was a day okay like back when we were in high school i never worked there i worked yeah, i, I washed cars for dan morrow yep. but like it was almost you a, were a rag man too oh, i did yeah, that for buddy. a summer yeah, yeah. Oh. rag guy did oh that was yeah i had bill conroy walk out there ah chad go over the new lot they just knock a bird shit off of him <laughs> <laughs> did, did, did you did you ever have those days where they sent you to pick up a car? Oh yeah, that the was favorite the best. Days. Yeah, that was those great. were the best. My hey, favorite day. Can you yeah. can you drive to Maysville, Kentucky, to pick yeah. up a car? Yeah, we'll, run, we'll run down there with whatever. Yeah, some other guy. We'd do, we'd fun. get run down there. Yeah. Oh yeah, drive one back. Good stuff. And a big caravan is oh, great. Yeah. But uh, no, so I, but what I'm saying it was almost. I think you could say across America, it was like a rite of passage. Kids, it was like paper routes and working at McDonald's, yeah. dude. Like paper think route. think of of the percentage of kids like through the seventies, eighties, and nineties, and I apparently it's maybe not quite that way now. But I mean, it, for a while there, man, that, that was a rite of passage. I, I can, mean, you know what I always used to love was going in there and just looking at that track picture. Uh, the track. Oh, they they hosted that McDonald's time. meet every year. You yeah. talked about that last. It'd be time a meet on. picture of of the county meet. Yeah, the county meet. meet, and it'd be all three teams. I used to love that. Oh man, I love just going in there and looking at that picture. And we and we expanded it when when we opened the restaurant in Vint County. There, we oh, we really? had, they were they yeah. were part of it. Yeah, okay, that's but, awesome. But we don't we don't do that. I don't even if they had the county. I don't. Meet. Know, I don't think they do. I, I honestly don't, think they don't do. know that I've ever told you one of my stupid ass ideas, and you've ever said no. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, what do you mean by that? Well, I mean, you know, jeeping for joy, oh, and, oh, and I mean, you know, oh. hell, look at how many rubber duck races. And by the way, I just bought two thousand them some bitches the other day. Did I tell you about that? You did, yeah. You so did. <laughs> we yeah. might be I'm in the duck race business. I'm in. <laughs> but uh, I'm in. no, I, I mean, I. But I, I would think that that could get challenging. But it, I do understand what you're saying. Like it's kind of like, hey, man, that's that's kind of just part of the business of being being a mcdonald's it is and and let me ask you this man speaking of which i mean you know you're you're plugged into the the mcdonald's franchisee community right does a mcdonald's ever go out of business dude like does does that ever happen i've often wondered that because like i can't imagine that a mcdonald's has ever gone out of business so i i will in my experience, yes. Not recently. Oh, okay. Okay. But yes. Yes. So, um, if you've if, if you have you watched the found founders, the Ray Kroc story, the movie. Yeah. Yes. So y- you know that McDonald's was basically a real estate company at the beginning. Sure. Right? He yeah, was. Yes. He knew the right spots. Uh-huh. So there was there was a time I want to say, maybe like early nineties. Okay. Where. McDonald's was just buying up products. They got a little they, aggressive. They they were bl- kind of got away from their model of uh, yes. uh, figuring they, they, out the they demographics. Weren't, they weren't taking the time that they needed yeah. to get in the right spots. Because yeah. so like MacArthur, for example, it was almost five years we worked on getting that spot. Well, and then you all it also doesn't like the size of the communities have dictate like what size McDonald's yeah. you're going to put in and there, like traffic patterns and demographic. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. it's a study that goes on for for years. Yeah. So they they did like a. You know, Subway was big on. They would just put a Subway everywhere. I mean, they oh, were yeah. expanding like crazy. It's like Dollar General, man. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Um, so they went through a time when they did that, and they they made a couple. There were there were several out there that were not very good locations, and if if there just wasn't enough dollars to support there, it, there or? wasn't, and it was a time before the the um, gas station that model. hybrid the hybrid yes. model like that. Yeah. So to to build a freestanding restaurant is it's a lot more it's expensive, right? It, is it a pretty big percentage difference in the cost to run one of the the co-op like gas station or what do you guys call this it's it- it's called a small town oil alliance or okay, a co-brand okay, okay co-branded okay. um it, yeah the overhead is definitely less so okay. we the so like jackson for example uh-huh. it's mcdonald's building it's yes. their property yeah we're renting the space from them right okay okay so they take a chuck right off the top right. rent, rent and service fees in the oil business they we it's the same setup, but then McDonald's funnels it back to the gas station. Oh, uh, okay. And you the, you don't have to do that. No. Uh, so okay. we we still have a percent rent. We send it to McDonald's, and then whatever the contract is, they send it back to the gas station. Okay. But the gas station owner is the tenant, or, or sorry, the landlord. Or, okay. So they assume some of the 
the big ticket items for maintenance and repair. Oh, okay. Whereas in Jackson, it's all on us. Oh, yeah. So that so that so you love that model. For, we do. Yeah, yeah. we do. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, that's the thing because you know what? I bet you're still getting big business there, man. Why yes. wouldn't any gas station want to go beside McDonald's? Right. Well, that's well, another thing, man. If you're that well, gas station, my God, let's go. It, it increases I mean, their traffic. Oh yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That one in Oak Hill. I mean, that's yeah. unbelievable. Now yeah. you don't, you don't, you don't have the top end sales like you do in a in a traditional well, restaurant. But your margins increase. Yeah, the margins are they're very comparable to what you have in a. Yeah, you don't have the volume store. though. Yeah, correct. I mean, but the overhead is, is, yeah. is it, it, it it's a def, definite win if if you put it in the right community, uh-huh. and I'm telling you, man, MacArthur and Oak Hill have been awesome, killer. Yeah. Now now are, is would there be a higher failure rate on those co ops where maybe people have taken too big a swing and gone to the wrong location, or does McDonald's prevent that? They're pretty good about keeping that, yeah. yeah, in check. Okay. I I don't I don't know of any of the the combos that have ever yeah. not done well. Yeah. Um, that would probably be the simplest formula on the planet to figure out, you know, traffic versus competition versus population. See, man, the the nice thing you think about that, like in in Oak Hill and MacArthur, there's not a lot of competitive there's no competitive mm. fast food chains Mm-mm. and couldn't support and, one. and your mcdonald's dude i mean it's that's yeah yeah uh, you're built for it and and we're an employer of 50 plus people yes, yeah yeah I mean, yes. that, that helps you oh could you, there, i don't think okio could support another fast food no interesting story about macarthur mm-hmm. i told you it took several years to get yeah, yeah. which actually benefited us in the end really because all the original data that they showed us mm-hmm. was Heavy traffic patterns north and south, ninety three. Oh, so yeah. they were all they wanted to do was find a spot on, on ninety three. Yeah, yeah. Well, then the high school was rebuilt. They built it out there, and that area is just there's all oh. kind. I mean, it's it's the, it gro- brought the grocery the, brought store, the traffic, Goodwill. yeah, brought the traffic over to fifty. So it was yeah. it was good for us that it took so long because yeah. that's now where everybody goes. Wow, you know, you know, in small towns, the draw. I, I can't is, imagine is sporting like, events. Yeah, well, right. and I can't imagine the school traffic that gets, yeah. man, mm-hmm. after school or something. There, I mean. So, you guys, have you been there lately? I've not been over to MacArthur in a while. Yeah, probably been a year. I don't know if it was the the village or the county or the state, but they built a put in a crosswalk over over fifty to get to our place from the middle school. Oh, you're kidding! There, there is a lighted. <laughs> Crosswalk, yeah, to wow. McDonald's and RC Quick Stop. Man, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, that's, I, they, yeah. they, they, they knew how. Many, Who do you know in the governor's office, man? I, <laughs> I wish I could claim that because, but but after school, the the kids, kids that, were going there. The, well, the, it's, the it's a safety kids, issue. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and yeah. we we have. Isn't it crazy though? How like something like I mean, a school obviously, but like you know, and that's happened in reverse. There's been people that that's taken the life out of whenever mm-hmm. something moves. Like, oh, that. I know. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. I yep. mean, isn't it, I, I just real think estate it's funny, such man. a crazy like, thing. Like I look at I look at like my son's crew that he runs with, man, yeah. and like to this day, like McDonald's is the safe haven like they they'll go there and they'll be like yeah they'll be out running around riding bikes or hey dad pick me up at mcdonald's yeah. that's where they'll be mm-hmm. dude you know well you gotta that. love that though yeah. yeah i i like seeing the generation the the younger kids yeah. coming back because we we lost that for a while yeah yeah, yeah. we lost that for no a while. I, I know man i i every time you do something for us i make those kids like hey we're going to mcdonald's and we are going to make you know we're going to do a video or something you know yeah. but they all you know it's just like the old birthday parties and everybody I, I went do they still stuff, have though. those do they no. still have those man no dude i had two of them there when i was growing up i went to john mcdonald's there and, and I'll tell you what that I, I mean that was, I got very fond memories of that. Me too. I had a fond memory of that all my life. Yeah, all my life. And, and those those ice cream trips in after a ball game or yeah, something. Oh, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, we don't yeah. we don't get any of that anymore. Uh, yeah. I, yeah, just well, well, and I mean, dude, I, I when I was growing, I, mean, I don't know whether people still do this or not, but like you used to be able to to rent or something the 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 igloo jug, mm-hmm. you know, and mm-hmm. get two bottles of concentrate. Orange I see drink orange. Yep, absolutely. And mix that up, and do, like, can can people still do that? 
That used to be, I mean, yeah. I remember like you'd have an event or something and there'd be one of those parked over yeah. on yeah. the side. It's like, oh, yeah. there's the good stuff. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. 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 Give me that sugar, baby. Yeah. 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 We, we got away from that a little bit when mm-hmm. there, was some, there was a moment, there was a time when we didn't have high sea orange. Oh, okay. It wasn't even on the menu. Oh, and man. It, was there a revolt? It, big time. Yeah. It, it just came back. It just came yeah. back recently. Uh, but we, we still do that. Um, but bigger than that now is sweet tea. Yeah. I, that's People what some people say. Is that, is that where they're going? They're bordered by the jug. Mm-hmm. Well, wow. the, the gallons, they get the sweet tea and unsweet. Yeah. But the orange bowls, we, we do more events that people want the tea rather than the, the orange. No now. kidding. Yeah. Wow. But yeah. but they're not serving that high C at sporting events like they used no. to either. And the hell, schools are taking care of the Gatorade. We had that at halftime of the football. Game. Oh, oh yeah, that's exactly what yeah, we had. Yeah, it, yeah, wasn't yeah. It? yeah, it was high C orange. I mean, high C orange, and we had still Powerade day, there for a while. It's, it's the only, it's the only sugared drink that I still drink. Is it? Yeah, I'm diet everything except that, yeah. and on a, maybe a Saturday morning after a late Friday night. Nothing Boy, better. I enjoy a lot. Nothing I better than I a, enjoy a starch icy. Egg and cheese McMuffin. Yeah, if, hey, if you're looking to fucking... Oh, excuse me. <laughs> if, 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 that's how passionate I am. If, if you're looking to drill a hangover... Oh, go to McDonald's. Mm. Get the app. Spot get, number get five. Get yourself a sausage McMuffin with egg. Yeah. And Diet Coke. And a, and a, no, no. A large high C. Oh, yeah. Diet Coke. And, 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 a, Coke and, really. and a large Diet Coke. Oh. And suck them both down yeah, within and, an hour. And a large coffee. Suck them all through. And, and mm. you know, take a ride. Yeah. <laughs> and suck them all down. Yep. You get nutrients, you get caffeine, you get your you, grease you, or whatever you, that yeah, is. You you hydration. It's great. I mean, yeah. It, Clean the pipes out. <laughs> it's absolutely fantastic. <laughs> but I always attribute it to the to the high C orange. Because mm. there's just that little bit of sugar that you need. Just enough. Yeah. Just enough. Yeah. And it, it if there's a better tasting, more refreshing drink, I'll out kiss there, your ass. I'll kiss your bare <laughs> ass. Yeah. McDonald's high C orange. Or, or just I mean, hell we used to just like order it as an orange or mm-hmm. orange drink. Yeah. You know? Orange drink. Now you're having to say high C orange or something sometimes because there's other options. But I mean well, I don't know why anybody would drive through McDonald's for breakfast, you know, or whatever. And get orange juice. Nothing against your orange juice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. get a high C orange. Good lord. Yeah, yeah. It's it's it's, yeah, it's yeah, needle yeah. to the vein. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, come on. What you know? And it, you know, if you hit that app, yeah. all you got to do is just reorder. Oh yeah. It's, if you've yep. got a standard, come or, yep. I've got yep. a Saturday mm-hmm. morning. And it, yeah. And, and, and I, we just named it. It's a sausage McMuffin <laughs> with egg, a large high C orange, a large diet coke, and a large and coffee. A coffee. Yeah. And that's your every Saturday morning you just hit reorder. Champion. Go get it. (laughs) Spot number five. Yeah. Now that's only, like I said, now those are not as often as they used to be. Yeah. Like after a, a good old good one Friday night yeah. or, or or Saturday night. I, yeah. I'm known to hit that order on a si- Saturday or Sunday morning before anybody else in the house is up. Uh-huh. So another part of our business that's starting to really get some traction, especially in Wellston, you guys do DoorDash McDonald's. Oh yeah, yeah. I've never. Yeah. I've done it here. Yeah. It I've doesn't never... come to my house. But... Now I do DoorDash. We do DoorDash. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, yeah, but because the not... sausage egg McMuffin. Delivered to you Wait a minute, your, I'm lying. PJs. I'm, li- nice. I, I, I'm well. lying to you. We do do that on, on Saturday and Sunday mornings a lot because sometimes the kids will beat us up. And, of course, you know how kids are. They wake up in the morning and they're just starving. hungry. Yeah. Starving. Haven't eaten for days. Starving. Yeah. Starving. <laughs> I'm hungry. Starving. Yeah. I can't wait five minutes and I'm not feeling like going and getting in the car. Yeah. yeah? <laughs> or it's And they don't want anything you got in the house. Hey, you want me to throw some cinnamon? I'm too hungry. I'm starved. Well, so we have door dashed. Yeah. We, we've done that. It's starting to pick up a little bit. It's I just changed the game down here. But man, see, now that's, a, that's another thing, man, that is, uh, I mean, that's got to be something that, that almost, or at least it tweaks your business model, man. Yeah. It, it, or like the more volume you get on that, I mean, won't it? It, it's it's starting because, to because here's here's the thing I notice now, man. Like at McDonald's, if you if you're going in there to order, there might be door dashers coming in mm-hmm. to pick up orders. You have the the ability now. If you don't want to stand an order, you can go back mm-hmm. and, and type in the order. Like, is does that make it easier for you guys, or is that another element that makes it a little bit tougher? It's tougher, yeah. I, w- I would say to 
It, it's kind of like the... Do, com- do a lot of people do that? Like order from that kiosk? No. No, but the door... I, I'd say the DoorDash is probably surpassing that, or has okay. surpassed the, the, the kiosk. Okay. But it's just like we talked about with the curbside. Yes. You know, on certain days, you need a dedicated person to oh. get... Because there's a whole process well, to get that it's coming every day. You're yeah. going to need well, it every day. Well, yeah. I can't tell you the last time I've been in there in using the app in my spot where there hadn't been at least one other car there. Yeah. The, I mean, the biggest thing is is the 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 reinvestment that we've had to do for it. Okay. So you've got software upgrades. You have additional oh, that, yeah. POS signs. hardware. You got signs. You, you got, got 10 spots there. now. If, if, I mean, we, have, we, we spent a, a bunch of money just on like uh, preparation areas, stations to get How orders ready. How can we ready. get a chubby banner right across on that creek <sighs> on number five? <laughs> what I would like, I'd, I'd say Pat Ball can make that happen. He thinks so. I think so. Yeah, yeah, he's well, now listen, right there across the red. So yeah. we've we've had some issues with that, like drainage, drainage. And You're some, in the lowest some, spot in the county. Yeah, right some washout. Yeah, and it's it's not our property. I don't even think I don't know who owns it. Uh-huh. There's a line that goes that through might be there, the but city. I, I don't know. No, no, I don't know who the bank is. man. Maybe it could even be like a railroad or something. I think. Yeah, it, it could be. Yeah, I don't know. Who knows, man? I, 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 huh? I, that's a low spot right there, man. Mm-hmm. That's a, and I appreciate the work you do with cats, Brad. We haven't had a cat in a long time. <laughs> I'm just Knock kidding. On wood. I'm just kidding. We haven't had a cat in a long, I long time. I figured you liked this. I, you know what? I'm I'm respectful of the animal community. Yeah, 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 I, I know you are. I right? Know you are. But we, we can't be feeding cats back no, there, No, I always, I always was, when I came around, I'm like, man, this is really cool, man. They got a little cat refuge back there. Oh, we did. We had... I mean, people, and people I would, would be drop like, off tubs. I'd be like, and, man, if I was Brad, I'd be, I'd, I'd, I'd be in the, I'd be in a bad cat business right now. Yeah, it was. Big cats wouldn't be getting oh, along very well. They're, they just, I don't know. As long as they stay back, there, but I've I guess always it's heard okay. so many, so many compliments about it, though, dude. Thank like, you. Isn't, we that, try, we isn't that nice that they let? Uh, oh, we get those tubs those for them and put yeah. some straw in there. <laughs> they get a little, little. Do they really? People do. I, in a in a YMCA right back here behind you. In the the, the, the just people helping the people. Yeah, people helping people back here. You could go right back here and put you out. That's where you need to be putting out your your straw. I'd put it right there on the middle of the tennis court. <laughs> <laughs> they say that uh, cats love that surface. I uh, <laughs> that's why there's a chain link fence on. Yeah. <laughs> could, hey, I, hey. Speaking well, of that, you still pickleballing? No. We have you, not. Hey, Bud was pickleballing. Oh, did you get into pickleball? We were there in the fall, yeah. yeah. You and Sarah? Mm-hmm. How, how were you guys? Hillcrest. They've taken our old savage where there used to be blood or no foul, and now you've turned it into a pickleball court. Bud. I respect that. <laughs> it's, that's a, it's, that's it's, an evolution of men. But it's, tem- yeah, it it's temporary. Yeah. It's not it's not a permanent. Yeah, they move it back. Yeah, we, yeah, we yeah. pull the net well, But I'm saying there should still be men up there playing basketball like that. Should be. Should yeah. be. But yeah. what, like, uh, so did you get good at it? Um, Stay not, in the kitchen. Not great. Yeah, it's that's hard. I, mean, I, mean, I just want to go up to the net and just pound it. Yeah. Do, but, do you like but, it? I mean, I did. I've yeah. never heard a bad review on pickle. I did. I haven't either. But I've never played it. I haven't either. It's um, it's it's intense. They're, the 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 people we were playing with, they're they're good. How how often? Like how many how many how big was your group? Um, you got to kind of get a little tribe of pickleballers, yeah. right? To, well, to, we we've got a we've got a group chat on the uh, WhatsApp. Okay. What, what's that? What's called, right? Uh, uh, I don't you know. into that? Yeah. Huh? You doing the WhatsApp? Yeah. Wow. I don't have WhatsApp. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's it's probably. I mean, there have been fifteen people there before. Sixteen. Man, nice. But there's there there are kind of two different groups, and the the group at the um, Hillcrest was kind of started by K, How, uh-huh. Amanda was involved. Uh, okay. Um. Chad Radoon was even kind of, I think they're they were, they were organizing the it. Yeah. Chad made the switch. Mm-hmm. Well, he he would do that, but he hey, he never gave up tennis. I don't think. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. He HD man. would go up there with us. Yeah. Uh, Hammond. Um, how does how does Shelly HD Hammond, like that as big a tennis guy as he was? It's hard. I, I would he say has to, he has to be in. So there, you've got all different degrees of skill in this uh, group, okay, right? Okay, yeah. We're at, we're court, we're kind of at the bottom. Oh, uh, okay. So when the the good you're people, athletic. Yes, but we're not skilled. But you're not a yeah, you're yeah, not a yeah, you're, yeah. you don't have a, a 
A racket. Well, no, we've got the gear. Well, I know, but, but you're, just, you're not yeah. used to, you're not handy with the racket, no, but you're yet. athletic. Not yet. I haven't figured out the touch yet. So he goes easy on us, thankfully. He, yeah, Ch- yeah. he and Chad, Chad doesn't, he's he's still competitive. I bet Chad and HD's a team. Yeah. And Shane Eflin. That we oh, get those oh yeah. It's, See, it's, those guys can play some tennis. Yeah, yeah. man. Uh, yeah. 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 But it's fun. We, we we haven't been for several months, but. Shane Eflin's yeah. doing it too? Mm-hmm. They, they've been they've been renting out the memorial building. You can rent out the memorial building for like twenty five dollars, a couple hours. Oh yeah, no, yeah, well we just watched uh-huh. Derek Allison. Yeah, do the strongman down there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, did you watch that? That I, I would argue right now for for a for a young man's birthday party, meaning a boy of my son's age and all oh, that. Oh yeah, uh, they was this the the wrestling? No, uh, Derek Allison put on a strong strongman down there. Oh, strong and, man. It, and like it was serious. Like I, we saw a man faint. Yeah. Faint like from yeah. from getting hit. Or no, no, lifting, cold, lifting, lift. lifting. Like strong man, like they're carrying lifting. stones. Oh, 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 gotcha, 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 lifting, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, yeah. yeah, like gotcha. all kinds of crazy. This stuff. guy probably had. What you? I'm I didn't even count it. I, I'm assuming it was probably six hundred pounds, yeah, like three hundred, two hundred. Yeah. I would have no, no. But he was walking it in a circle and just gave yep, out down and i thought chad and i need to be announcing this yeah i would like to <laughs> yeah you called I mean, me to you say brought it, it up and yeah, i was to like say it wasn't entertaining would be uh, a, a lie because it was it was very oh, entertaining gosh. but yeah. but anyway what a great venue for your 25 dollars for two hours <laughs> yeah for for kids for boys that are in that are anywhere between the ages of eight and 13 uh, you go in there, throw out a couple of playground balls oh, or something like loose. that, yeah. and it's like dodgeball or whatever. The parents generally have have the adult beverage of their choice. Yep. I mean, it's not the most beautiful venue, but it's, man, it's for, for kids that age, I yep. mean, they love it. Big, it's I the mean, biggest ring, biggest pen you can oh, even oh, could create. Oh man, they Lock go all the they doors. go crazy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. They, they play kickball, they play dodgeball, and you know, and you don't have to do anything. You just watch throw out a few mm. little caesar's pizzas they, and they did this thing i was i kind of got worried about them because just because i grew up here but did you see that thing they did where they jousted kind of like they had this they had a four by four this is allison and those guys yeah. and they had it they had a uh, like a is either, it might have even been a six by six okay which is a, a a huge piece of lumber yeah right so and then in that lumber they had driven these handles, like a, just a rod, like a wooden yeah. rod, like you know they, you know how those old wooden carpenters and they, mm-hmm. they drill or they knock this whole wooden, and so on each side, there, and and there was two rods, so like I'd grab a, I'd grab mine, and you'd grab yours, and whoever got out of the circle first lost, <laughs> and you'd have to, you couldn't let if you let yeah, go of your rough. handle, it's rough, yeah, I mean, wow. it looked rough. Push or pull, whatever you and, want and to do. And I was thinking, them. yeah, push, pull, whatever you could swing them, oh but you God. can't let go of your handle. And it was a strongman competition. Well, this guy, I was more worried about the the floor of the memorial building. Being slippery. And you could see it. Like they they yeah. it was very apparent. And that's the only thing, like I there now we're back to tourism again. Yeah, I, I was gonna say the same thing. Yeah. Th- that that place right there could house a lot. It sure could. Well, I mean, it's bare bones right now, but what? A, it's probably a pretty solid structure. I would think. You know that uh, it needs a new floor to get it something needs, in it, there. You lay over top of it. Yeah, just lay over yep. top of it. Yep. You know, leave that basketball court. Fix there. the bathrooms up. You got the concession area it, there. But boy, that's, that was a hard some bitches basketball oh, court. Whatever. Yeah, it was. And and I mean, them days is over. Mm. Uh, you, I mean, night and day difference. Mm-hmm. Uh, I I don't think it ought to be wood. Mm-mm. But what what kind of wonder what kind of floor you could put on that thing and have like a big old event? I mean, concrete. I we had well, we had we went vinyl over concrete over at Park's Edge. It was, yeah, it was that, concrete. That was probably pretty good. Yeah, and, and I mean, it it could house. I mean, you know, you you get a man dropping a thousand pounds. Mm. You know that that's gonna. I don't do care some what damage. Yeah. yeah, I mean, what do you what do you do? Or, or just put out mats? If you if you put out mats, you could take it. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean to drop a thousand pounds on the floor. Is... But you could you could turn you could turn that into, if you did it sideways, you could fit two volleyball courts in there. Could you? I think so. Oh, I think so. That, have that have building, tournaments? Yeah, that building's bigger than what you think. Yeah, but but what kind of court? You know, do you put just like the Y they put in that new basketball? Do you put a basketball court on there? You know, and draw it all out. 
you know, what kind of flooring do you put in something? Like I mean, that? you can draw, you can paint a basketball floor on it if you want to. But I, honestly, I think you would stay with a, a neutral surface so that you could do, you know, like I would go with like maybe something like the Y had before, like that plastic yeah, one or something. You puzzle know, pieces. Maybe a little more durable. That um, had some dead spots, but that, that's just floor leveling. Well, I mean, you know, if you're going with a building like that that is so multi-purpose, I mean, you wouldn't want wood down in there. No, I mean, yeah, that would know. be no good. Mm-mm. That thing that been a lot, been man, they used to have big concerts in there. I've been to concerts. Hey, in there, they man. used to have a big time wrestling in yeah, there, man. man. <laughs> I mean, it's and it's some a, of the greatest basketball this city's ever seen. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. I saw Josh Coyne clear like three rows of chairs one day in there. Jeez, chasing a foul ball. Yeah. I mean, yeah. He, Man, there was just some, just ba- just hardcore basketball in there. Oh, I'll, I'll never forget Atlas it, man. Vaughn. I, I really enjoyed mm-hmm. it, man. Really enjoyed it. He was a, a good referee. Yeah, he was still doing it. Uh, Dart. I wonder how many games Dart guy well officiated. Guy, mm-hmm. guy, my goodness. I mean, those guys. They they fish and see. Hondo had all those guys dialed in, man. Oh, yeah. Those guys were were refereeing basketball, baseball. I mean, all of it. You know, anything that happened. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, man. What else we got, bud? It's been a while. It's been hour and that's, thirty. That's ha, have a good time yeah. in Vegas, man. Yeah, we will. You're going we to will. Vegas tomorrow. Who, so who's enjoy. your who who who, who are you riding in the Super Bowl, dude? You excited? I, I'm I'm really not. Dude. I'm not either. Man. In my in my so my wife. If, if, I my, wish both teams could lose. Me too. Yeah. My wife and kids oh, hate you, me for this. Yeah. I'm gonna go to Kansas but, City. No, I, I'm I'm swiftied out. You're I want I don't want to see really? any, more, any more celebrating that. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, hey man, Patrick Mahomes is good. He is pretty good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, uh, you know, in 49ers, that, that's old school with me. I mean, you're going back to your guys' era when you guys graduate, man. Montana, yep. 49ers uh, was always there. Yep. Well, and I mean, you know, as a Bengal fan, I've always had a little bit. But yeah. I, I'll tell you, I like Shanahan. And yeah. I love McCaffrey. But <laughs> was it whenever the Bengals went to the Super Bowl back in nine eighty nine? When was that? Uh, we lost both Super Bowls to, to the forty those, to those pricks to yeah. the forty nine. Yes. <laughs> yes. So we have both of our hated teams. Yeah, yeah I can't stand the Chiefs, yeah. and I can't stand the Forty ers So yeah, like yeah. honestly, I'm in a couple of pools. I should probably just put money on the game or do some prop bets. That's that's a majority. That's what we'll yeah, do is yeah, prop bets. Yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah. I got yeah. A, I got a confession. I thought you were gonna be a hot prop bet. Uh, I downloaded DraftKings. Uh-oh. Oh, here he goes. Boy. Here, here he goes. <laughs> oh, here, here he goes. Watch out for this guy. Yeah. Here, okay. Hey, and this guy has got an addictive personality. I, as I've do seen I. It. I've seen I mean, it. you know. You know what? You you need like a MGM or Betley or one of those big, just you can do anything you want. What do you mean? I mean, all the props. It's bets. restrictive. Uh, yeah. But they have MGM. apps. MGM's pretty sweet. Hey, Barstool's got an Iceland. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. No, I don't even want to know, boys. Get <laughs> La- keep it away from me. <laughs> last year, we weren't even allowed to go to the sports book at MGM. They were they were basically forcing you to put the app on your phone. Yeah. Do everything on Do it phone. online. Yeah. yeah. Load up a credit card, put cash on, whatever. Just... They want to make it as easy as possible. They do. For you, for you to place it's that. Scary. Exactly. Hey, it's... Yeah. I, you know, it's scary. Oh. Well, plus, plus it gives it gives them the opportunity to cut people out of their yep. running the sports book. Oh, it's like absolutely grocery stores or like McDonald's. I mean, you get yeah. kiosks everywhere. Yeah, it's yeah. kiosks, oh, yeah, yeah, kiosks yeah, yeah. in your hand. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, the thing uh, thing about those those, and I've resisted it thus far, but I, I I'm getting real intrigued because I can't go to a football game with my buddies. To where they've all. They're oh, I, mean, I mean, they're, but hey, I got uh, Mahomes to have two touchdowns. Yeah, you know, I, got I got two bucks to have them. Yeah. And then they got parlays going everywhere. Nobody's winning. I mean, it, yeah. <laughs> it's beautiful. But every now and then you'll crack one for oh, a couple yeah. thousand. Oh, you know? yeah. 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 Eddie did and real it, good. It Shout makes, out Eddie. It it's makes his birthday. The, it make, oh, happy birthday, Ed. It was yeah. yesterday, wasn't it? Today. No, it was today. today? Yeah. And it, it looked it, like it, he's already eat the cake. I saw you put that on there. You're bad. Yeah. You're bad. That man does not look fat. Oh, yeah, he does. Oh, <laughs> for Eddie, he does. Yeah, I, t- I tell him this. I told him this today. <laughs> Very I, I, saw, I saw you tell him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he definitely looks like he Yeah, we read the post. Yeah. <laughs> looks like he's been eating cake. I win today, Eddie. Eat yeah, you. I, I win today. <laughs> and cake. And, and cake. cake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
So you guys don't have don't have one hot hot bet for me. So give me something to take out. Of I there. haven't I haven't even looked. I haven't Mahone looked. Th- Mahomes will throw for two hundred. Over two hundred. Okay. Uh, I would take tails on the coin flip. Um, who's singing the national anthem? <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> I don't know. Who's the halftime show? Usher. Uh, Usher. Uh, sure. That'll be good. Uh, yeah, there's always a bet on like how long the national anthem mm-hmm. goes. Yep, the um, time of it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they given. I don't know. I haven't seen. I haven't seen the mm-hmm. props. That's what I mean. Like I'd have to look at the list. But there's some really cool shit to bet. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that has absolutely nothing to do with the game. Oh yeah, that's the only one. How you many times it. will the camera have flashed to Taylor Swift? In yeah. The first. Quarter? Oh yeah. Yeah. You know. I, I was. Uh, I tell you what sold it on me. Oh, Rossi, you know, he'd been helping me yeah, do yeah, some yeah, stuff. And, yeah. So I we we all went to dinner the other night, me and him, Mindy, and yeah. well, some bitch wouldn't even reach down and grab him a biscuit out there at Dakota's, you know. And I was, yeah. I'd, every time I'd look over, he'd be he'd have his phone in his hand, and I was like, "What, what were you, you watching? Doing? I what said, was you he getting watching? a bite over, bud? I said, yeah. you got your new woman or <laughs> yeah, what? Yeah, he yeah. goes, oh, draft kicks. Draft. What, what, was, like, was he what betting on you? college basketball? Well, it was it was back whenever it was during playoffs. Oh, okay. And okay. he's like, I'm betting. He's like, because we was watching the game yeah, out yeah, there on yeah. the TV. And he was yeah. like, I'm betting. You think they'll get a third down right here? And yeah. I was like. Yeah, you can literally do that during the oh, game. Oh, they're, they're live bets all the whole way and through. And he goes, how much we, How much would you put on that? He goes, would you put $10 if they get a third down? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, okay. And he hit it. And I was like, and it, and it paid out like. 45 bucks or something and man you do that a couple times and then you'll lose a thousand dollars yes and i was like <laughs> i mean so, because, because that feels good yeah so yeah so next thing i know i'm, yeah. I'm sitting there in my living room watching the semi-playoffs with draft kicks and mindy's over my shoulder yeah i think he'll do this <laughs> oh, yeah. and now mindy's involved See, in now you guys now are stretching done. your betting now lines. you're done yeah 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 now you're done financially so. devastated yeah <laughs> yeah it'll wipe me out i'll be living up here doing podcasts <laughs> <laughs> Pray to God people jump on Brad's yeah, app. Yeah, 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 oh, my great. gosh. It's great. Love it. Got anything else for us? Have fun tomorrow. Well, you're leaving yeah. tomorrow. You're going leaving for in Super a couple Bowl. hours. In a couple yeah. hours to go to Super Bowl weekend. So, long time tradition. Uh, year nine in a row. Well, and this this is going to be very interesting. And I know probably when this hits, it will already happen. But going to Vegas and the Super Bowl is in Vegas. Mm-hmm. So, that's going to be wild, dude. We've got. Hey, did you see the 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 buffer there? They're trying to do on that. Uh, what is it? The Raiders that are going to Vegas, or who? who is they're, they're they there. they are there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're. But they're wanting to build it like close to town. Do you see that? Like, oh no no no! That's the baseball stadium. Yeah. Yes, the, the A's. The A's. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah yes, it's yes. going to be right on the strip, dude. The, the, and you'll, you'll see it when you're out there on that same Unreal. corner where we're going to be. Yeah. I think. I think yep. they're tearing down the tropical. Well, well, they are. They are. It's right across from the MGM. And yeah. they're saying, "Hey guys, hey hey hey, we can't handle that much traffic." What? Dude, so, that's what they're built for now. Though they they did that IndyCar thing there, they completely reconfigured the strip and everything out there. I was out there like two weeks before they had that. It's unbelievable. They built a grandstand right along the side. I mean, permanent. Right along. I mean, it was unbelievable mm-hmm. what they what they did. Out like there. on the sidewalk. Yeah, grandstand. Uh, unreal. What the, the the modifications that were made. Mm-hmm. I mean, dude, that place out there. I mean, you can't have a convention or something large enough that they can't handle. Mm-hmm. I mean, really? it is built for those for that. For a hey, you want to have the biggest event in the world? Okay, Vegas. yeah, yeah, okay. So I think you were gone. We were talking about it. They've got a UFC fight Saturday. They've got that what's the, the slap, slap fighting? The fighting. slap fighting. Slap fighting. I think U2 is having a concert in their the Sphere, the new venue. Oh, yeah. It's and the the golf tour that broke away from Live. the Live Tour, they have an event there this weekend. And the Super Bowl. And the Super Bowl. So you're talking about... There is no more room at McCarran Airport for private jets. No. Every spot is taken. They're going to have to fly in from like... Henderson, I guess, yeah, Mesquite, yeah, wherever, yeah. and, and just, drive in. That's the most unreal, packed. Oh, it, that there's going to be so many people in that city. I mean, it it's going to be unreal. I just pray to God it's safe. That's why I was. Concerned well, I, about I'll that tell you too. what, I, I guys, I, I I have a firm belief that it will be. I think I yeah. think they've had some enough issues yeah. where yep. they've they'll, they'll, yeah. But I mean, that's imagine, enough I to think move after, the needle. After after that shooting at Mandalay Bay, yeah, yeah there is absolutely zero screwing around out there now, man. Really? But, but think I of mean, how many thousands of 
people, people. you're going to need to do that security, right? Hundreds Tens of, of thousands. hundreds of thousands of people to be. How many? How many? So I mean, you know, how many people does the sphere hold? I don't. I don't know. I, I don't know, dude. That's the most unique. Twenty thousand. Maybe it's the most yeah. unique looking building you don't I've see ever many, seen in my life. You don't see too many uh, indoor venues holding any more than 30,000. I, I mean, I'd say that'd be at the top end. Yeah. But you I don't know, man. It's, I mean, it's there. big. What about, so the Super but it's Bowl, an odd shape. Super Bowl have 100,000, right? No. Uh, I 60. think most, yeah, I think more like 60 to 70. 60, yeah. Cheapest tickets so like eight so, grand. So yeah. between uh, you two and the Super Bowl, you got 100,000 people. Uh, what else do you see? You see you'll maybe. have 30. Yeah. Uh, slap fights, slap 10. Slap fight, 10. So you got a hundred live, live a hundred. Yeah. Maybe. Right. No, dude, they'll have a lot. I don't probably. know. I don't know. I don't know, how, I don't know what kind of following there. Maybe, 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 maybe let's say 25, 25,000 yeah. people. That'd be conservative. I'd say, but yeah. Why, why, why wouldn't it be? I mean, no, I, mean, I think, it, I think it might be more. You yeah. Think, I, no, I'm just saying being it might be there less. around that old. I'm saying 5,000 truthfully yeah. people. I mean, if, if you're into if you're into sports, this is the weekend to be there. Oh yeah, just get all of it in. So you got you go got. Well, everything. and then that's the other thing about Vegas. There are, there are probably ten thousand people inbound to Vegas tomorrow that have no idea any of that shit's going on. You're right. Yep. Okay. okay. So, so I you mean, got, they're going to play blackjack. You, mm-hmm. you got a quarter million people hitting that strip in hotel rooms. Yeah. In addition to the people like us who are just going out to be out there. Well, you're yeah. part of that. You're part of that. Yeah. You're going out for the Super Bowl. Well, I mean, if you take the people that are going out there to bet and the Super Bowl, what do you think? Probably another 10,000 just going out there to bet. I've never been there. Dude, I mean, there's a lot of people going out there that go out just like you guys have for nine years straight. It's Super Bowl it's weekend. Tradition. We go to Vegas. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. So, I mean, because there's Super Bowl parties everywhere. Everywhere. I mean, we, we will probably pass no less than 20 or 25 celebrities, and we probably won't even know it. Right, just yeah. walking right. down the street, street. Right. yeah, yeah, huh. no, or no. in a casino. Yeah. yeah, we played we played craps with Shady McCoy one year, Lashawn McCoy. Yeah, oh my, talking about fun. Yeah, I bet just that was. just for forty five like forty five minutes maybe. Yeah, he he rolled up. Higgins recognized him. I, well, the I thing that's no fun about craps is everybody's rooting for each other yep. when you're playing yep. that man. Yep. and it, it's fun. <sighs> dangerous boys, it's dangerous. It's dangerous. Yeah, I like it. it. Thanks for coming on. Thanks what else? Anything me, else, man? man? Anything no. else? You, hey, you I just love, say something. No, I just it. love chatting. You yeah, see, man, it was yeah, fun. Yeah, it's been our long time. All, all you got to do is promise to come back. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so, And thank you for the plug. I appreciate oh. that. Oh, for the hey, shameless plug. Happy. And hey, man. That was good. And the, thanks and the, for the Wathams. Wathams yeah. are good. Oh. I, I legi- I'm, that wasn't me blowing smoke either. I legitimately believe you guys have moved the needle for well, us. Thank you. I really do. Thank you. That tickles me to glad. I'm glad. tickles me to I really do. Yeah, yeah, well, I I'm do. glad. We hope to continue to do it. Yeah. I hope so too. Right. Yeah. Let's we, get spot six and seven out there. Uh oh. There we go. There man. We go. Run, run with our faces. Okay. We need the six and seven. It's a <laughs> challenge. Hey, we're getting new stickers. We'll just, I'll, oh, there'll be I some graffiti. It. To show yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm, hey, we're looking forward to it, man. Yes. We really should do that because no one uses those spots anyway. Yeah, I'm the only one park that parks there. You're only, yeah. The only reason you're parking out there is to feed the cats. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> The cats. <laughs> what a great be, idea. I gotta be careful. Yeah. <laughs> be careful. Hey, yeah. like and subscribe. subscribe. We hope you do. Hey, get on YouTube and get us to a thousand. Yes. For Christ's sake. Yes. Let's go. And thank you, all of our sponsors. Look yeah. them up, yeah. including Mun, Prater, Massey, uh, look at uh, Fab D's. And now we got a new one, uh, Kelly Wiley Grill. Yeah, Kelly Wiley Group of Keller Williams uh, Realty, or yeah. I think it's Kelly Wiley Realty of Keller Williams Group or something. I don't know. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, yeah, big, yeah. Ones, big yeah, sponsors. Yeah, yeah big, they're uh, big. Hey, they, they jumped into a podcast sponsor. Yeah. And nice. guys, I don't yeah. know if you've looked. I mean, Pudge has been sharing these uh, hoodies that we got on there. Man, they're nice. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, hey, I, just, I, like just, I just ordered one today. Oh, Did by you, the way, stay with the logo. Don't change it. Don't change it. You like OG. the OG. OG. The OG. Yeah. Hey, Steve Lewis, <laughs> shout out our boy Steve. Yeah, Steve. Hey, he uh, he ordered a pair of swim trucks. Well, those are nice. Oh. He, he's done himself a favor. Wait, you have those are the nicest swim trunks. You loved them. Hey, dude, I, I wore them out. I mean, two years, I'm buying another one before I go on vacation this summer. Oh, I might yeah. buy two pair of them. I, I think we ought to get on there and make it available in two different colors. 
Okay, what color you like? You didn't like a teal? I did like the teal, but I'd like to buy a teal one and then maybe black one. Whatever. Yeah. You know, well, whatever you the other one is. I can't go black. See, I always stay light colored just because yeah. I'm transparent. Well, yeah, I mean, that's fine. So you have to help me. You with can that. get me a pink one. I don't care. I was going to say, you, if you guys, you Fab D, you said it's sponsor, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is, is her color trademarked? I you got a little know. partnership with that. Get that yeah. bright pink. Yeah. Fab D ass, chubby oh, in the front. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, Fab D on the crotch, chubby on the ass. Stop yeah. it. <laughs> Fab D. Just the collar. Just that's, the collar. Now, that's a little rough. The, the mullet suggestion swimsuit. You know, Ooh, yeah. With the party in the back. Party. Yeah. 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 All right. Hey, like yeah. and subscribe. See you, folks. See you.